with Jewelry Maker. And welcome to Jury Maker, and it is a very, very warm welcome. Really nice to have your company today. Uh, I'm Vicky, going to be with you for the next four hours, and it's going to be a storming day today. Sat in the production room yesterday afternoon, my goodness me, there was a storm a brewing, and it was a good storm. It was a storm of products that suddenly came in, and I went, we'll have that tomorrow, we'll have that tomorrow. Do you think we could have that tomorrow? And the answer was yes, yes, and thrice yes. So today I can offer you five meters, dude, you don't even know this, I haven't even got around to telling you this, five meters, Sweet. sterling silver chain. That, wow. I know I told you it was a proper storm brew and it was brilliant. And you know when you just think, oh, this is what they call by right place, right time. Because every time Paul went, oh, something's new's gone in, tomorrow, tomorrow <laughs> would be lovely. Um, so excited about today. <laughs> we have got for you some absolute treats. As I say, five meters of stern stuff. I feel excited, so I'm probably going to talk quite fast for a little bit. Whenever I get excited, I talk really quickly, so I'm sorry about that. Slow down, slow down, take a breath. Five meters of sterling silver chain. On top of that, brand new spacer beads. On top of that, brand new satin cord. On top of that, brand new bead boxes. On top of that, brand new strand of morganite on top of that luxury pearls and can i get any more into a show yes i can because it's a four kit show a kit an hour busy very excited very very ready to go very 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 ready to go let's go for it and let's start off and let's just before we do that say hello and good morning to mark smith good morning, good morning. <laughs> how are you i'm really excited <laughs> in a really silly like giddy way i didn't realize we had that train i know because we just did i'm genuinely just haven't had time wow. to i've been up sorting out things <gasps> amelia yes we need to celebrate Newton's now yesterday cradle. now yesterday uh, we set kim the challenge my lovely children had taken our Newton's cradle, you know, the tick, 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 <coughs> Newton's cradle, and created the biggest mass of knots that you will have ever seen in all of your life. It was, it was literally just one mass. Last week, Kim had said, I can take out any knot. I can do any knot. Just, and I went, oh, make my children's life fulfilled by fixing the Newton's cradle. She's gone away. <laughs> and she's only gone and done it. I don't believe it. Round of applause. <laughs> For my children, I will send you much love and gratitude. My children will forever, when they are 18, they will remember the day that Kim <laughs> fixed the Newton's cradle. Now just... Oh, takes me back that, takes me back to my... Which is why we've always had one. But is it having a two-year-old? Having a two-year-old uh, and a Newton's cradle is kind of lethal. So be prepared that next week it'll be back into the knot. But Kim has officially, she has rise to, rise to the challenge and I will be buying her a drink next time we're out. Or three. Um, right then, we have got for you brand new opportunity to start the show. As I say, yesterday as the brand new things came into the, into the warehouse, I literally just went, I'll have those for today's show. So brand new and we have all been pouring over these colors they are utterly breathtaking this is your early bird and this is just the start of a really brilliant day i'm really excited how about this for your colors it's 
perfect pastels here you have here the delicacy of lemons and limes you have got the softest of sky blues your lilacs your baby pinks your peaches and your blossoms all of those colors they are brand new you've never seen them before and i have to tell you with quantity that we have first come first served on this deal I already got people on the lines for it. People instantly see the opportunity that I'm about to bring you. And with some of the kits that we have today, you are going to adore the way that the colors are going to, in fact, if I just pick up some of the gemstones in the first kit today, just instantly see how perfectly match with those softer tones. And that's your first kit of the day. We're going for femininity and sophistication. And these colors are offering you exactly that within this 50 meter spool. Now, of course, if you love macrame, yakumi, hemo, any of those individual aspects of creativity, these are your opportunity to really extend five meters of each. That's five meters of each from your lemons, your greens, your blues, your lilacs, your pinks, your oranges, and even these gorgeous like mold qualities. Uh, stunning, stunning stunning combination really exciting and already I have 40 people on the phone lines already I have a lot of people absolutely acknowledging that this is the one for you 50 meters and of course multi buy because once they're gone they're gone you're gonna make the most of them while they're in stock first come first served your price tag 895 for 50 meters of your brand new satin pastel cord, yours for just eight pounds 95 now that's the kind of deal that you've got to make the most of these are going to be a gone 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 today we really have got some amazing deals uh, instantly instantly 100 are allocated just like that 100 gone in a flash that's just based on the price and the opportunity that you've got here you've seen some of the gorgeous things that i've got coming up today i mean just see there i've got this gorgeous bead box coming up look at how well they match alongside those colors you know every color could be matched alongside maybe we're going to go for perhaps those citrine colors alongside maybe you're going to go for the lime greens perhaps you want to match the pinks with the pinks or maybe you want to go contrast that we were talking about yesterday let's go a contrast of the orange to the green you know why not play with those colors with the satin cord against the likes of, of those kind of strands we have lots and lots to offer within today's show and this is just the beginning and mark 50 meters is going to go a long long way well it, i mean we had we had um, the the old satin cord on the late show on Tuesday and um, I was explaining to Ed that you can get th between three and four Shambhala bracelets out of one five meter reel so it does go a very very long so way. So 40 bracelets you could be making. Yeah, between, between 30 and 40 depending on the size that you use absolutely and th these colors are just beautiful aren't they? And even if you charged and you didn't put any gemstones in and even if you charged just a fiver yeah. they're just a fiver for a bracelet mm. most people would expect that that would be your price tag for any kind of handcrafted bracelet that kind of style would be around about five pounds so if you were making 40 let's let's work actually you have to look at the minimum 30, 30 and you were charging a fiver that's 150 pounds mm -hmm. 150 pounds <laughs> and that's craft fair stuff that is, people yeah. will instantly pick up and buy they won't even think about it will they it's no. a fiver the hand over a fiver for handmade jewelry that's a hundred £150 and if you take away your time and of course the money that it's cost you which is £8.95 what you're still going to be maybe £120, £130, uh, let's say £100 profit if you're giving or taking your time and of course the, the, the materials and that's it, that's it, £100 in your pocket that you could just sell to friends and family for Christmas, stock and filler prices and what an amazing opportunity that is. What a great chance to really bulk up for Christmas for your pastels and your softer tones and I do have some exquisite gemstones to match alongside these today with those pastels of delicate qualities and those are the colours that whether you're going to go for this season, next season, it doesn't matter what season, these are the colours that are always going to be in fashion in the jewellery industry because they are workable and wearable within any kind of color mix that you want to work with you want to go pastels and then get a strike of color you want to go strike of uh, a pastel color for your gemstones and you want to work it with alongside your, your threads you've got that chance now busy busy very very busy cues on the lines lots of people on the phone lines so you need to stay there 
we will process your call as fast as we can and as I say brand new stock coming through into our uh, warehouse at the moment uh, we've got some amazing treats so that is just the start of the treats as I say we've got five meters of sterling silver to offer you today we've also got brand new spacer beads brand new pearls brand new bead boxes we've got plenty of offers everywhere around me I'm surrounded by things that I know you're gonna love um, and I'm moving straight on to another offer now you've just got and opened your order if you're holding on the lines stay there and we'll process your call as fast as we possibly can how about we move on brand new to the day show we've not seen it here on the day show this is a brand new opportunity and if anybody's interested in the colors of the season anybody who's done a little bit of research for the colors of the season especially your panettone colors this is it in fact i've, I've printed it out where is it? oh here it is okay let me show you these are the panettone colors of fall autumn 2013. these are your colors now if i hold them to the angle and then we just show you all of the colors that you've got here yeah exactly look match the purple match the orange match the red match the color you literally could match most of these colors to the panettone colors of now panettone is the probably the main leader of colors for each fashion season if you went to a fashion stylist if you went to anybody that say go to panettone and they'll tell you the colors to go for the biggest color this year at the moment for 2013 the panettone color of the year is emerald emerald this is the color of the year. Emerald is the color of the year. This is the, the, the main color. But actually, just take a look all the way down and just reference all of these colors. And we have every single color in today's show within this Panettone mix. So you've got all of those colors to reference to. And in particular, when I'm holding that up and I'm seeing this, I've got, well, effectively, we have caught, I mean, look at that. How perfect does that match? <laughs> that is Dwight, that is the colour of the season as well, isn't it? How well does that go? I mean, it's pretty impressive that each piece, each, uh, each suede will capture one of the colours of your panettone. Look at that. Okay, it's through to the thought. You've got all of the colours, now what are you going to do with them? Make some great jewellery? Well, you've got to buy it first. So let's give you the chance to do that. 10 of your one meter suede leather cords brights is what they're classified as i'd call them the the perfect autumn colors because that's the colors that we're, we're referring to via uh, your ultimate fashion air uh, stimulus you've got the chance here to get all of these colors for one price tag that price tag six pounds 95 10 meters for six pounds 95 it's your suede cord and and from my perspective all you need to think about is one pendant just one pendant and and the suede cord uh, simple cord endings and hey presto you've got yourself one incredible piece of jewelry without having to spend a lot of money and again this is all based on not a huge amount of investment but actually lots to be offered for a small amount of money six pounds 95 i mean that's at least at least 10 necklaces isn't it if that's the way you want to look at it with just a simple cord necklaces and i always think that suede cord is perfect for gents as well as ladies isn't it it has that that nice uh, that masculine feel about it because of its texturing you know quite surfery you know these simple dog tooth necklaces that are all the rage well literally that's just a suede cord with a single pendant a shard of whatever so if you were just going to go for very simple gents jewelry surely this is the answer isn't it you don't have to even think about how am i going to get the right piece of jewelry for your godson or your nephew or your you know those kind of people who you struggle for um because you just need to go for one simple one simple suede cord necklace do you remember on last week's show we we um we showed the viewers how to do the wraparound bracelet do you remember yes. with, with just the simple two two outside yes. edges and, and then, then the beads down the middle you'd need one piece of that for each bracelet what a great gift for somebody. 
beautiful gift. Isn't that a brilliant idea yeah. for Christmas? Yeah, Again, can, yeah. when you've got the ingredients like this, if you only need one meter to make that kind of bracelet, one meter, all you need. a few gemstones, um, and hey presto, a little bit mm. of time spent. And for probably what's going to cost you, well, let's say a pound, one pound fifty, and your time, you've brilliant, got a Christmas gift. I mean, Fantastic. Christmas is expensive time of the year. Right, whatever whatever happens, everybody seems to spend more money over Christmas than they do any other time. But if you want to be frugal and clever with your money, and we all need to be clever with our money on a day-to-day -day basis, that's that's just obvious. But really, when it comes to Christmas, if you've just got a little bit of time, like now, to be able to go, okay, I've got to make for my uncle, my nephew, my my brother, and my dad. And actually, I think one of them would quite like a nice simple cut. One of them would like one mm. of those simple wrap brown bracelets. You could do that for six pounds ninety-five with a few few gemstones uh, you know here and there and you've got yourself Christmas sorted and each one of those pieces of jewelry what one pound fifty two pounds at the max mm. I mean that's that's a really Perfect. brilliant way to make make jewelry and give great gifts and also be cost effective mm -hmm. on your on your pennies you know at the end of the day if you're saving pennies it means that you've got the chance to be able to treat yourself to something that you like the look of today rather than thinking oh no I'll put that money to one side because I've got to buy Christmas make jewelry out of something like this and it's got to go a long way cues on the lines again not surprising cues on the lines if I did that and then I hold up that I mean that literally is the colours of autumn isn't it? I'm just put that green in because that green's really prominent. There you go. That is the colours of autumn. It's amazing. And you've got them all sitting there to work with. Six pounds ninety-five. Fab you lost. And then Mark, we're gonna set you a challenge. Now your challenge has changed. Not changed as in but changed since yesterday because of what happened in the production room. <laughs> and it just so happened, as I say, I was there and, and we were discussing what was coming into the warehouse and something was mentioned and I went, oh, can I have them for tomorrow? Mark, I'd love working with them. Oh, that'd be perfect. Can I, blah, blah, blah. And basically, I just wore down Paula <laughs> to the point where she just went, yes, Javix, just have them. Just have them. For goodness sake, shut up and just have them. Um, brilliant. That's what, the best way to do it is just keep talking at, at, at Paula until the point where she just goes, <laughs> okay, you can have them. You can have them. Uh, and the reason that I wanted to put them to wear is because I know that these are very, very popular. These are brand new. Brand new. Now, last week, we did see something like these, but instead of them being horizontal, they were vert no instead of them being vertical they were horizontal markings so they went almost like a um, a ring around neptune uh, no Pluto, no jupiter has the ring saturn. around it. saturn one of those planets <laughs> one of those planets that's somewhere out there um that's it which one was it saturn, saturn. i keep on going to say mm. jupiter um, can you remember about a year and a half ago we set me a challenge that i had to remember the order of the planets and there's a, a thing, uh, there's like a phrase that you have to remember. I tried to remember it the other day and I can not remember it. I know it's my very expensive uncle and that's it. My very expensive, and I cannot remember what it is on my very something uncle. My very easy method just speeds up naming planets. My very easy, easy method, method just, just speeds, speeds up, up naming, naming planets. planets. But then Pluto is technically not a planet. Planets, yeah, Pluto's not a planet anymore because it's too small, isn't it? It just speeds up naming. Speeds up naming. <laughs> planets. Um, that's good. I need to remember that. Now, obviously, I will forget that because my brain just <laughs> does, is, I am a fish. I honestly think I must have been a fish in a former life because it does come in and, uh, but I like that one. My very easy method just <laughs> speeds up naming planets. <laughs> Obviously, they just fed me that because I could not remember any <laughs> of those words at all. Uh, right then, 
Um, so, yes, so uh, last week we did the rings around, this time you've got vertical, so it's just a totally different look because you've got almost a, a definition going round and down rather than a, a, a around, so it's something a little bit different, so if you've got those ones from last week, these are perfect as just a, an add-on, you know, nice to, to mix with, and we'll get a bit of a close-up so you can see that, and they're already flying out and rightly so. I have to say, the first... 20 minutes of today's show, we have hit you with some amazing deals. Brand new satin cord, brand new to the day show suede cord, and now we bring you brand new brass spacer stash beads. See, I call them spacer beads, but in some ways they're so gorgeous, you wouldn't want to just use them as spacers, they would be like, features to your jewellery. They could be just one piece of jewellery with just all of these. A lovely cluster ring or nice, perhaps um, a beady bead or perhaps you're going to go for a nice charm bracelet. My charm bracelet that Debbie made me, um, I wore it on Monday. She made me on, Saturday, on Sunday. I wore it all day on Monday and the compliments that I got Everybody wanted to know where did I get it from and obviously lots of people don't know what I do for a job So like kind of you know, oh well, you know, I just one of my friends made it for me Oh, can you think she could make me what I had loads of those kind of conversations I went to the gym and I forgot I didn't take it off when I was in my, my exercise class and there was loads of ladies going Oh, that's so sparkly. Oh, it, it was just it was just like a little bit like I was in a disco because it was just sparkling all the way these are wicked. From my perspective, from somebody who's worn them on a like a day-to-day -day basis since I got my bracelet uh, from Debbie that Debbie made on Sunday, from my experience, these are going to go a long, long way. This is your brass bead stash, faceted beads, silver gold, rose gold, and black finish. Uh, 300 pieces, we're reckoning, 300 plus pieces, and they are five millimeter. I believe these will be a sellout for the day. I don't believe that these will be hanging around. Uh, very, very popular deal, very, very popular. Not just for, for spaces, because as I say, the quality of these and the sparkle of them, I've just got one piece of jewelry that Deb's made and it is just a charm bracer of all of these and they are fabulous it works so nicely and one tube full of over 300 of these spacers and these feature beads yours for the taking for just £10.95 yours for £10.95 and really in, in, in all honesty the colour range that you've got here from the rose gold finish the silver the gold and the black they all have their own facility and ability to go with lots of different looks um, an amazing deal if you want to join us it's a go 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 uh, whether you want to use them individually, whether you want to put them uh, together, it's the choice. And obviously, if we just think about some of the things that we've already seen today, and also some of the things that we're going to see, like the chain, yes, five meters of sterling silver chain, you could do yourself a sterling silver charm bracelet just using these gorgeous spacer beads as the charms. £10.95, an amazing deal. Yours for the taking. Um, there's a lot to, to be used and I think my, when, I, when I think of the Debbie's bracelet that she made me it was a full bracelet it was a full 360 uh, full 360 bracelet and it was full I don't mean like kind of spaced it was full of these and she said she only used she only used a third of the tube and they were on he all on head pins and she matched the head pins uh, with the, the different colours and there was just one fantastic bracelet and she used, I think she said, a third of the tube. So if you think about that, that charm bracelet only cost maybe three or four pounds. I have just given the game away that I took that charm bracelet away with me. I have just given that game away, haven't I? <laughs> Gah! Man, I'd be no good as a thief. I'd just be no good. I really would just, <laughs> I'd just give the game away. Who did it? It was me. It was me. My, um, my, uh, not brother-in-law, but my, one of my close family relations um, uh, did a, um, one of those crime watchy things, right? Do you know this person? Because he looked like a person. Somebody oh. rang and went, yes, and gave his name. <laughs> He looks like I looks like that because he's the actor who's actually just pretending to be the person. Oh my word. <laughs> if you look that up, that wouldn't be good, would it? <laughs> wouldn't be good at all. Right then, um, what are you going to do? 
Wow. Do the viewers know about yesterday's gauntlet challenge? Yes. Debbie, yesterday, mm. uh, we did a fantastic brand new scale mail. The scale mail is like this, these mirrored scale mail, and they're wicked. Um, they're really funky. And Debbie literally, and she even took the package and threw down said gauntlet. I know. Uh, it was very funny. Um, look, all oh, the glasses are coming off. Right then, Debbie Bulford. Um, <laughs> These, um, this scale mail that we got yesterday, Debbie was saying how great it would be to see this scale mail in like a, a spiky macrame bracelet. And she was saying that it would be great to see if you could do that. Okay. And I said, well, it just so happens that he's on tomorrow. So therefore, throw down the gauntlet. And she did. And she did. So Mark has got these gorgeous mirrored scale mail to work with uh, that Debbie gauntleted, don't think that's a word, gauntleted, and challenged you to create a, a beautiful textured piece of jewellery with macrame. Okay. Okay. Because it would be really interesting to see w how you can create that. Because the spiky designs at the moment are really big, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Really big. Um, okay. So what are you thinking? Well, I'm going to do two versions. The first one, I'm going to have all of the scale males stood upright. Uh -huh. And the second one, which I'm just starting to work on now, they're going to be petals of flowers. So they'll, they'll still be spiky, but they'll be, they'll be flat, oh, they'll be spiky. Spiky. You'll see. I hope. I hope. I've never used scale mail before. This will be my first time. Are they, are they funky? Amazing, aren't they? Not Beautiful. really funky. Beautiful. I love against the... I mean, put those, those spacer mm. beads, alongside those. <sighs> night out. Oh, I'm thinking they? a night out. These, these spacer beads are stunning. I'm going out in a couple of weeks' time. Again? I know. Again? <laughs> I know. Where it was are you like, going? That, can I just say, when you say again, that was about a month and a half I know, ago, I know. which it's is good twice for me. This year. I know. How good yeah. is that? How good is Gosh. that? So I'm going out for my friend Catherine's birthday, and um, I've got four outfits to choose from. Oh, I know. I'm so excited. Brand new outfits. Brand new outfits. My cousin wow. Claire took me out shopping. I remember she said saying. I needed to get myself sorted. <laughs> oh, Claire sorted me out. And how many of those four are black? How many of those four? Oh, three. Oh. No, three, three out of, of the them. four. Three out of the four. Yeah. And the other one's just not quite black. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> No point in pushing the boundaries too far. No. <laughs> uh, <laughs> just stay safe. Are we going straight for the bead box now? Do you think that people might have thought that they've tuned in and are in some kind of twilight zone, that this is like their dream jewellery maker show? Because I've already done satin cord at £8.95, then I've just done the suede cord, then I've done the spacer beads, which everybody just wants, and there's so many cues on the line still for all of those. And then, don't even stop there. Brand new bead box. Uh -huh. A brand new bead box to top it off. Blimey, blimey. Now, we have only got limited stock on this chips and nuggets bonanza bead box, and it is full. It is full. When you get, when you get this delivered, you'll go, wow, that is a lot of gemstones, a real lot of gemstones that you have got here. A combination, let's just see, a combination of your double strand of fluorite, your double strand of your pre night, you then have a strand of aventurine, a strand of rose quartz, a strand of citrine. And a strand, wow, of your Amazonite. Oh, wow, that's fabulous. It feels like it's got that really country garden feel about it, doesn't it? With the just splashes of the pinks and the yellows against this foliage greens. And then, of course, again, just to highlight, what's the color of the season? Emerald. But actually, what's the color of the year? The Panatoni color of the year is emerald. 
I mean, look at those colours really capturing those rich, vivacious, vibrant colours that you'd associate to emerald within different gem types from your fluoride to your venturine to your prenite and to your amazonite. And that's a really crisp amazonite. Now it's already flying out. This is a limited edition bead box. Once it's gone, it's gone. It's first come, first served on this deal and it is going to be popular. It's one of the biggest and fullest bead boxes we've had so far in terms of two lots of double strands and then all of your chips and nuggets which everybody of course just adores working with because chips and nuggets really give you the chance to to make your jewelry go even further so let's give you the chance to get something special out of this bead box the price you should be paying is almost 26 pounds you get the box which is grade 5 plastic for those of you who need to store anything like polymer clay or your silver art clay uh, it's a grade 5 box then on top of that you've got all of your gemstones your prenite your fluorite your citrine your amazonite your rose quartz and your adventuring all for one price tag should be almost 26 pounds but it's not how about that how about that pretty much 10 pounds saving on that deal pretty much your 10 pound saving if you want to join us the box and all of those feature gemstones I mean really two strands of fluorite look at the size of those fluorite normally you expect a double stranded to be smaller stones these are huge I mean these are significant strands that you've got here in an individual strand you'd be very very pleased but here you've actually got a combination of over 600 carats of gemstones 600 carats and of course the nice part about it is, is that you're gaining all of these amazing gemstones 600 carats of your pre night as well just to highlight so another double strand there all yours for the taking bringing it together so you can see all this and of course let's not forget the box is de designed for your storage of not just your um, not just your gemstones but also designed for your findings as well so what you see and if I just profile this can you see how the actual um, separators and you do get the dividers you get multiple dividers you can choose to divide these into one two three four six seven eight dividers per row so that's eight 16 24 so you could actually have 24 dividing uh, little spaces but because they are going from the very very bottom of the box to the very very top and they fit flush it means that if you are storing your smaller things like crimp beads and your smaller findings and then you tip your box upside down they're not going to all get all combined and they're not disorganized they'll stay in their compartments the box is designed specifically for that purpose so you know that you've got the quality of the box as I say it is grade four grade five plastic which just means you've got the storage capabilities for things like your polymer clays and things that really have that they're the need to be a specific hard worthy um, plastic and then on top of that 1695 for all of your incredible gemstones and they really are incredible qualities beautiful look really exciting congratulations you got that one uh, I think that I believe that that will be a sellout without the day within the day for the simple fact that it's a limited edition bead box and our bead boxes are so popular so very good and that's one of the fullest I mean that literally is brimming with gemstones fabulous fabulous now then just to highlight today and I haven't had a chance but we did mention it yesterday um, we have got for you today I just want to highlight this Morganite and the first thing Mark went to this morning <laughs> and I had my eye on him because I knew the moment he saw it he would go straight over you went to these they are <sighs> they're sublime absolutely That's sublime a beautiful word to use yeah. Mark sublime that's such a great word mm. I would never use that word but that's the word I want to use they really are sublime and it doesn't matter how we get a hold of Morganite in terms of quantity it just never ever hangs around it is in and then it's out so yours for the taking we shake it all about then we do the hokey cokey and you turn around and that's what it's all about hey Ooh. 
that's my favourite bit of the Hokey Cokey song when they go ooh <laughs> and you can feel everybody like that ooh in the circle you can like yeah and the kids don't even wait the kids don't even wait for the Hokey Cokey they're like that no too much tension go and they all run into the centre ah oh, brilliant and then everybody pulls your arms off and you're going forwards and backwards let's play Hokey Cokey uh, we have got for you well the thing is is that we'd like to do Hokey Cokey but in fact we need to get a little bit serious because yesterday we sold out of our luxury strand of pearls and I have to say the expectation is exactly the same will happen again today. It doesn't matter whether we put pearls on 20, 30, 40 times a day. We know that pearls, pearls like this one are not going to stay in the building. These are literally the time to buy is now just based on our experiences. Your peach pearls are 10 by 9 to 11 by 10 millimeter. The size luxury, that is exactly what we have to highlight here. And the moment you start to see this coloring, it's about defining your jewelry collection with something just that little bit different. You know, you've still got the classics, you've still got that femininity, you've got that real sense of, of, of beauty, but on top of that, you've also got something a little bit different. And as you can see, what we try and do is make sure that our threads and all of the colours match alongside as well. And how beautiful that combination is. Aha. Uh -huh. Wouldn't that be just the most exquisite, Isn't that beautiful? exquisite piece of jewellery? I mean, I could imagine a perfect macrame piece, just beautiful, very yeah. simple, really effective, and just that colour. And I know I've gone safe with that colour compliment, but for me, that's what the pearls demand. You know, if you've got such a beautiful colour of pearl, you almost just want to maximise on that colour and you can do so with your thread. So that thread comes with our first early bird offer of the day. Um, now, your size, we have to always highlight in size terms because the moment we start to, um, to, to discuss gemstones, that naturally form, um, and of course all Mother Nature's gemstones naturally form, but in different different ways. Uh, of course, pearls are, are what you'd classify as an organic gemstone, uh, a little bit like amber, where they, they form within a certain environment. And here you've got this natural forming pearl. And what's lovely about it is, is, is that when you see this forming, it could be it could be that we we look at the beauty, but sometimes if we just look a little bit further into how this gemstone forms, we see. Even even more beauty because this gemstone is created with layers it's not just it's not a crystal that forms instantly it is a layering and that takes years and years and years of layering and normally what happens is as is, is you've got the oyster if you've got the the, the the oyster whether it's a Taitian pearl which is a black-lipped oyster or whether it's your you, you know your, your, your standard pearls uh, the what happens is is the water enters in from the ocean or the wherever it's it's forming and and as it enters it enters in and the the mollusk almost captures all of the, the granules inside the sea and just starts to form and slowly on top of this central nucleus you then have these layers of the sea forming and that's what the nacre is layers of the sea just forming and forming and then the pearl gets larger as the nacre forms over and layers and layers and layers and what's interesting is, is that of course the longer you leave a pearl the larger it becomes. Now standard pearls, you're talking about six to seven mil. Those take around about six to seven years to grow. We normally say around about a year for each kind of millimeter in the average and that's just in general can't say that with every pearl but that's just sometimes how, how it's easy to, to process it. Six to seven mil, six to seven years. Um, here we're talking 10 or 11 millimeter so if you put that into, into thought, this could be up to a decade in forming in that natural environment. And that's what's exciting. Now, when we start to bring you our cultured pearls, we're giving you that luxury of edge of that natural forming stone. And it's such an exciting aspect when you then appreciate how it's naturally formed, where you've got that ocean derived, where you've got layers and layers and layers of mother nature forming, and then, this is the result, the perfect pearlescence, the perfect breathtaking luxury of this unique gemstone.
if you got the pearls yesterday um, then you certainly need to add to your order and get this combination together if you missed out yesterday then you'll know as well as I do, it's first come first served on these deals. If you see it and you like it, you need to make sure that you're the one to buy it. So get on those lines, jo join us right now on the website. You can do so at www.jewelrymaker.com. Your code on this one is HJGP75 and it's yours for the taking. A spectacular strand of luxury pearls. When you know how it forms and you know the beauty that it then allows us to appreciate, you can then think to yourself, 1995 for something that is as classic as any decade of any era of the fashion industry these are gemstones that have sat in all of their kudos the luxury from the victoriana era through to the edwardian through to of course the likes of things like watching downton abbey you know when you see what are they wearing what is what were they pearls because pearls have always been in trend and will never go out of trend because there is so much luxury to have so much feminine sophistication to appreciate and the color of these is what makes them so different so if you got the creams yesterday very classic very beautiful but why not add in something different by adding in your peach colors as well 19.95 is all you're going to pay what do you reckon that's amazing isn't it I would only manage to get the pearls from yesterday. The two of them together would just be. Would you mix those together? Yeah, absolutely. Without a doubt, with these satins especially. I was just they're going to just, say because yeah, we actually, just if you got the cream yesterday, we have got yeah. the cream satin, and if you've got obviously the uh, the peach today, um, and you just put those together as some kind of a of a mix. I mean, that is luxury, isn't it? Mm. That is real luxury. As you were saying about, um, we, always, we always talk about pearls, but everybody loves pearls, and whatever age group you are. And, um, and I was reading on a, on, a, on a search engine recently that the Queen was given a set of pearls that she wears every single day. It's a set of three rows that she was given on the day that, of the coronation. Oh, and really? there are four days since the coronation, so that's 60 years. There were four days that she hasn't worn her pearls, and those were the four days that she had her children. And she's no. worn those pearls every single day since the day of the coronation, 60 years, well, over 60 years now, and only four days she hasn't worn them. Amazing. That's isn't so it? interesting. Yes, yes. Oh, that is so interesting. Mm -hmm. And she's a classy lady. Very. I have to say that, although she chopped my head off, but yeah. uh, <laughs> that's. Yeah. That is really impressive, and if you've got the chance mm. to get that time, time is, I mean, as you say, 60 years, 60 years is a long time for jewellery to have come and gone and, and but, trends yeah. to, to rise but and fall. But they've never gone out of fashion. Ever. Ever, ever, ever. ever, ever. And that's the beautiful thing, and they, literally in every decade that I've researched, uh, there's not a time that pearls haven't been a no. feature of, uh, you know, of, of desirability and certainly of hierarchy as well. You know, mm. pearls have always been that reflection of, of luxury, that reflection of, of wealth, you know, especially in the, the, you know, and the nice thing is, is, is that I'm not stopping with the pearls in a single strand, this first kit, I've got <laughs> your pearls. Yes, yes, yes. If you're going to do it, do it properly. And boy, are we doing it properly today for you. You have got the, your Baroque pearls uh, coming together 10 by 9. And if that wasn't enough, how about your perfect 4 by 3s as well? Oh, they are gorgeous. They are absolutely gorgeous. I love the smaller strand. I think that's such a beautiful strand. Great size and perfect rounds. My goodness me. I wonder if you could, because of the size, I wonder if you could do a little pearl ring, just a stretchy pearl ring. I mean, that would look gorgeous, wouldn't it? Really, against perhaps then just as a layered ring. You know, maybe you're going to put something else alongside it, uh, one little solitaire, something like that, you could sit it alongside. Or you could do some really nice, just maybe a nice um, multi strand bracelet. See, that's, that's just my kind of jewellery, you know, very simple, very easy wear, but very classy as well. Um, not that I'm suggesting I'm classy, I wouldn't want to say that. Uh, you've got here the size as well. Let's put those together. Let's put them together. 
so you can see you've got the size of your 10 by 9s then you've got your perfect I mean they are almost perfect rounds they're actually 4 by 3 but they look visually like they're perfect 4 mil rounds um, fab gorgeous uh, let's keep on adding though because this kit goes on and on and on and I know you're going to love this because the feminine feel about this and if you got the thread at the very beginning the early bird this this early bird almost for me is just a perfect match an, an absolute perfect match rose quartz double strand is where we keep on adding and we keep on adding again when we bring you a further strand of rose quartz you have here your six mil round absolutely glorious glamorous double strand of rose quartz nuggets then you've got your two pearls You've got your large, you've got your rounds of four by threes, and you've got your rose quartz. So those are your six mil rose quartz matching alongside. Yes. Yes, please. Finish it all off. You've got your clip. That's a lot of gemstones in one kit. That is a lot. That is a lot of gemstones in one kit. Four millimeter strand of your clear quartz. I mean, I guess that's like that, that perfect adding to the sparkle of the, the, the regalia of this piece. Very, very sophisticated and incredibly feminine kit. This is already selling out. This is already people buying. Uh, a lot of people defining the, the, the potential of what our kits are all about. Of course, we all know that you can't buy our kits in terms of ingredients for the price that we do them for because our kit prices are exclusive to us and the price that you should be paying on this kit is over 40 pounds gosh I had to put this at probably you know a 45 50 pounds uh -huh. I know Kim said and she can't quite believe that that we can even cap it at 40 pounds and that's buying separately on our website not as price comparing elsewhere that's literally just going to to our website and going okay these ingredients, these ingredients, this ingredient, this ingredient, how much would that come to 40 pounds 40 pounds so in that principle, I thought this would be a 50 plus kit if you were going to make it yourself. So already I think that we're already low. To my instinct on this combination, there's a lot of gemstones and there's a lot of luxury and you've got lots of detail. You've got your uh, pink elastic um, too, lots of that. Plus you've also got your monofilament. Then we're going to add in as well and we're adding in your satin cord. You've got there a lot of your satin cord. Um, here you've got uh, five meters of each, your cream and your light pink, one mil size, plus we're bringing you the organza ribbon. Um, you've got there your sherbets, your baby pinks, and you've also got your orchids. So that's uh, all of your satin cords and your threads. And let's top it off as well. And we're topping it off with your 98 pieces of your silver plated copper findings, a meter of chain. You've got there your extender cords. You've got your um, shepherd hooks. You've got essentials like head pins and eye pins and crimp beads, crimp bead covers to give you the finish of luxury, spacer beads. I mean, pretty much everything you could possibly want and more from your findings pack and all of this all of this for one price tag that price tag is 24 pounds and 95 pounds let's remind ourselves that you have got here so many opportunities for jewelry from your pearls to your rose quartz double strand of rose quartz that, I mean I'm saying you're getting five strands a lot of people would say actually six strands because it's a double strand of rose quartz for 24.95 what a tremendous deal what an opportunity it's a go 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 oh eight hundred six triple four six double five is the number to dial join us on the web at www.jurymaker.com i'd say six strands that's what i'd say because of course if i just highlight the fact that that's 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 really two strands in one isn't it because that's a lot of gemstones to be had from from one gemstone so it's yours for the taking. You can call it five strands, two strands. Now, I just will show you a couple of the pieces of jewelry that Mark has made. This bracelet is just such a beautiful addition. It feels like it's that um, casual chic 
That's what I feel about that combination of getting that, that cord with then the pearls. I think it just, it's perfect in terms of capturing the shimmer and the sheen, the satin against the sheen of the pearl is just idyllic, isn't it? And then, Mark's been busy. How about this? Really delightful finish. And I could imagine that, you know, with a little bit of a thicker jumper coming into winter, you know, that really like nice, almost roll, tech, roll, roll neck or, you know, really cable knit. And I just want to lift, that's it. I mean, how glamorous is that? And then, Mark, you have been busy on this kit. You've been very, very busy. Take a look at those gorgeous earrings. They're fab, aren't they? If you saw somebody wearing these, how much do you reckon you'd have guessed that they'd pay for them? I'd guess, I'd guess probably about the 25 pound marker because there's a lot of luxury in those pearls and all of that finish. Uh, congratulations. 0800 644 655 is the number to dial. I'm going to bring these over with me so you can see the culmination of Mark's creations. Um, there's 10 pieces from this kit. 10? Mm. Really? Pearls? Mm. That means you've got pearls and rose quartz, each piece less than £2.50. Yep. It's amazing, isn't it? Wow. Absolutely amazing. Less than £2.50. No wonder you like doing your stalls, because if you're getting things like this to sell at like about £2.50, or pearl, like a pearl, pearl ring or, you know, those kind of things, mm. that's amazing. That's amazing okay. potential. So, I mean, those, those three pairs of earrings that we've got on here would be the £25. And, and I've got else. earrings on, don't forget. Yeah, but those, those three would be £25. And let me take them off and then we can stack them all together. Look at those. I mean, that's a stall and it's right in its own right. Mm. You know, people would stop just to look at those, wouldn't they? Mm. Well, I would. I'd mm. be just, I'd be very, very happy. Very, very happy if I made the purchase. Of, of course, the finish of them as well just adds that that real quality about it, hasn't it? Oh, Marky Mark, they're lovely. Two pound fifty, though. It's mm. incredible, isn't it? That's a, that's, that's the cost amazing. of a magazine. And a magazine. What kind of magazines do you buy? <laughs> oh, don't want to know. Um, <laughs> £2.50, if you think about £2.50 and how easy it is to buy, you know, things that you probably don't even need for £2.50 these days, and then when you've got the chance to make yourself pearl earrings, feature jewellery for £2.50 a pop, it's, it's pretty mm. impressive, isn't it? It is pretty impressive. If you do want to join us, this is selling out very, very quickly. That there is a low stock warning on this now. Not surprised that a lot of people loving that price tag. Um, and I don't blame you. I think that's a phenomenal price offer. Twenty-four pounds and ninety-five pence is all you pay for this kit, and you get a lot. You get your five strands, including two strands of pearls. You're also going to get the luxury of all of your cords, your threads, your ribbons. You've got uh, your findings and that's everything you need to get started in Jujira making. So if you are watching for the first time and you thought to yourself that you'd never ever think about able to be able to work with pearls to make your own jewellery, think again. You've just got to find the right places and this is us, Jewellery Maker. And of course you will get a free tutorial booklet and DVD with your first purchase with us which gives you step-by-step -step instructions into how to get started into Jewellery Making with all of the very basics. And then of course the nice thing is, is, is that if it isn't right for you, you've made up your jewellery and you've got ah, jewellery making is not for me put all of your jewellery back in give us everything back and we'll give you your money back your money will go back into your account so it's worth giving it a go even if it's just a case of oh I can't see what I think but oh, I'll give it a go give it a go because you never know and if you're making pearl jewellery like this actually the nicest part about it is, is that that could be 10 family members sorted for Christmas oh absolutely Ten family members. I've got a lot of family to buy for. I've got a lot of people <laughs> who I buy for. You imagine northeastern family. Uh -huh. um, that would be perfect for me. I mean pearls. So you know that across the board, whoever it would date, you know, whatever generation. What are you going to show us? Amazing, amazing, amazing. What are you showing us? Showing us. I'm going to show you the second pair of earrings. These ones. The, These that's ones. It, those here. Now this is. Um, 
It's, it looks like a beady bead, but, it, but, it, but bead. it isn't a beady bead. Huh. Um, we had a kit on the Late Show on Tuesday, and I was demonstrating with Ed, who's getting a very accomplished jewellery maker. Isn't I hasten he just? to add, yes, no, he's, he's coming along really well. Our Eduardo. And, um, and what I discovered while making up the kit um, was if you uh, a basic beady bead consists of twelve beads. Yeah. Okay, whichever size you use, a beady bead makes twelve beads. If you add in sections of four, so 12, 16, 20, 24, instead of getting a little ball, you get a band. Does that make sense? Yeah. You get a band rather than a ball. So what I've done with the earrings here is I've, instead of 12, I'm going to put 16 beads on instead. You'll okay. see, you'll see. So, I, so I've, got, I've got 14 on so far. Okay, so you can see it's, it's, it's wanting to, to, it's to curly, make that isn't ball. It? Yeah. So to, make, to finish off the band, we need to pop on another two, one each side. I'm using one of filament um, to make these because you don't want it, any of the beading thread to be seen. So put one on one side and one on the other. Now the beady bead, um, the full demonstration of that is on, I think it's either on the DVD or it's in the booklet that you get as part of your first kit. So yeah. the, the full demo is on there. And then we take both ends and we put them both through the first bead that we started our beady bead with. Now you'll have to bear with me on this because the holes are very fine in these beads and we do need to get three pieces of monofilament through. So I've got two and then we'll take the other one and pop it through. It's very quiet, doesn't it, when the aircon goes off? <laughs> Perfect. Okay, so we threaded them in opposite directions and then when we pull them together, can you see, instead of getting a ball, we actually get a band, if I can hold that up. Yeah, it looks like a little mini ring. Yeah, so, so, and, um, so we just tie a couple of knots quite tight on the knot, like so, and just cut those ends off. So in effect, we've, as I said, we've got a little band rather than... And what's, what's really nice, if you went up to maybe 32 beads, you've got a pretty nice napkin ring for your Ooh, Christmas table. Beautiful. And you can, do, so you can make up your napkin rings, and then after Christmas, you dismantle them and make jewellery with them. So it's a really nice little technique. Nice, nice plan. So to construct the earring, um, we take a piece of the beading thread, and we pop on a crimp bead on the bottom, like so, and we just crimp it. Now, if I'm, if I'm using beading thread to make earrings, I crimp pretty much central as much as I can because we want it to be in the middle of the piece of beading thread, like so. Take a crimp cover, of which we get 20 in the kit. And a little tip, it's so much easier to attach crimp covers with the thread or the material that you're using to, to do the beading with left on. Mm -hmm. If you cut that off, it would be really fiddly to try and enclose the bead cover. So we just cover that nice and tight and then we start constructing the, the earring. So I've got all the beads laid out how I want them. So we take one of these, oh, I love these little pearls. They are just they absolutely beautiful. I mean, they say that they're four by three, but actually for me, they look like rounds. I mean, they really do yeah, look like your no. three to four mil rounds, don't they? Absolutely. Um, exquisite quality. And I love them with the rose quartz. I mean, it's just, it reminds me of bridal. It gives me like a real sense of femininity. Mm. No, 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 you're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. Now to get this little sleeve on, I've, I've put on a pearl quartz, rose quartz. I'm putting on another little rose quartz on the middle, which will disappear up inside the little band that we've made. So we just- All right, you're using that as like the there center. We go. Right. So that pops it in and then we finish <laughs> making up the earring. It fits really nicely, the size for that, doesn't perfect. it? Perfect, absolutely perfect. So that was 16 of the clear quartz yep. for, um, that's a six mil rose quartz, isn't yes. it? Yes, yep. Okay, and the size of those were four mil. So you could say, your four mil gemstones, you need 16 to cover a six mil gem. Yes, pretty much. Right. I mean, okay. it's, it's, all, it's all trial and error and, and see which fits, yep. which fits nicely. But if we just had that kind of perspective, then at least we have some idea That's of right. sizing. Absolutely. So we, we, we'll just, I mean, it depends how long you want your earring to be. And then we reach across and pop on another crimp bead, like so. Fold it back through itself, because we're going to make the loop at the top. If you've got your bead reamer from your toolkit, just pop it in and you'll get a nice uniform loop at the top. Okay, and then we'll close it. 
I really like using, especially if, if the holes are very fine. On some of the gems of distinction, you'll find that the holes are quite fine. So you'll need to use beading thread rather than sterling silver eye pins or something like that, for uh, example. Yeah. And then we'll um, pop on our crimp cover on the top. The crimp covers just add that, like, the, the finish, don't it they? It does. And, and if you find that you've got some left at the end of when you've made all your jewellery, use them as spacer beads. A lot of us guest designers yeah. use them as, as spacers. But just decorative, you know, Absolutely. just ad additional right. decorative uh, aspects. So give that a little trim, take that off the top and then off the bottom. And what I like about beading thread is because it's, it's not rigid, you get that nice movement when you're yeah. wearing them as well. Especially when you've got such like clear gemstones or, or pearlescent right. gemstones. You want movement because it's just going to shimmer exactly. and sparkle more, isn't it? And then we just pop it on the shepherd's hook and then you've, you've got your earring. And if you don't like, if you get a bit bored with how that looks, you can just take it off and you've got a nice little simple drop or you can just pop that back on. It's strong enough to hold. Interchangeable it's brilliant. earrings. Yeah. So you've got two looks from that. And as I said, for, for if, you, if, you, if you, depending on the size of the bead, you roughly need 32, and that would make a, a nice, nice band for napkin rings. What size gemstones are you talking about? 32? Uh, um, 10 mil. Okay. 10 mil. So 32, 10 mil could make yep. that lovely napkin. Yep. That could you napkin do? Ring. I've got 12 people come into my house for Christmas. You want me to make your napkin yep. rings? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you could find out the birthstones, and we could, you could individualise your table, couldn't You're you? You're right. I could. Do you not go into? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Far too much work, Mark. All right. Far too much. Um, right then, let's just ride ourselves. We've just got this amazing kit, and it is a fabulous kit, and it's so feminine and sophisticated. And there is a real sense of elegance and and shimmer because of the pearls and because of the rose quartz. I think there is this this sense of very pastel mm -hmm. seduction. Um, so let's just recapture these amazing colours that we are offering you for our early bird today because I think essentially we could be looking at the pearls working yeah. alongside here we could put the rose quartz alongside here and they would go every beautifully single, well mm, every single colour works doesn't it and that's the thing is is that Thank you've got the your, your pinks could go if you want to just match those colours up perfectly or if you want to just go for contrasting colours you could do that with this nice dark blues and the turquoises um, and you've got that lovely variety 50 metres of your multicolour satin cord that we're offering you here pack of 10 so that means 5 metres of each of the colours on this spool and these are perfect pastels and all for one price tag your price tag is just £8.95 that is a tremendous deal 50 meters and as Mark said you could make at least three bracelets from each one of those spiel, spools for your macrame mm, and absolutely. that's literally even if you don't want to add gemstones just going for macrame bracelets and how about making 30 bracelets for £8.95 mm. and even if it's just gifts or if it's you know selling to friends and family for, for Christmas you know that's just probably an extra maybe an extra hundred pounds and I'm not even mm. exaggerating because that's selling those bracelets at a fiver which would do you justice because a lot of people would expect you have to pay more but even if you do that that's potentially a hundred pounds profit mm. ready to spend on, on Christmas for yourself for you you get an extra bigger t bigger turkey well, I've, I've just worked it out that it works out at 18 pence a meter and for that bracelet there which we had the satin in the kit I used a meter and a half so that's about 30p Gosh. Yes, please. We'll go mm. for that. £8.95, a very, very popular deal. Brand new in stock today with your perfect pastels. If you want to join us, now's the time to do so. Add to your order, of course. We've got one P&P &P for the whole day, £2.95. Uh, so you can add as many times as you like. And uh, we've got a brilliant late show. We've got some big deals on the late show as well. So that's all to look forward to. But before that, let's go to the Wall of Fame. <coughs> Thank you. 
I have Darren Smith. Any relative? No, 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 no. Darren Smith, 369, is up in Scotland and he says, I found your channel while flicking through uh, the channels one day. I have had se severe mobility issues since about August last year and I've been stuck indoors a lot, so I decided to give jewelry making a go. This was the first piece I made from silver hematite and white magnesite with silver plated findings, all from jewelry maker, of course. You really have been a great saver for me with my my new hobby I must say I am now addicted I have already had some commissions for pieces since I started in July keep up the fantastic work and I really hope to see my piece on air it will brighten my day well I tell you what Darren you brighten our day with amazing jewelry and of course inspirational uh, you know telling us about your story because that's what we want we want people to show us you know how easy it is to get started in jewelry making and, and hopefully exploring you know potential to, to enjoy your hobby but also it might be part of a making a bit of money and it might there's just loads about jury making that is right isn't there and, and thank you so much for letting us know uh, apparently we've also had a, a little um, message saying that uh, we're cheering up oh, who was it was it Sheila did you say uh, Sylvia that's right Sylvia uh, said that um, miserable weather but uh, we're lifting the clouds for her today oh, nice um, so uh, Bessie thank lovely. you so much thank Sylvia you. that's a really lovely message and we appreciate it oh, beautiful one this morning I have is number 370 my first entry and this is from Lynn in Cinderford and Lynn says hi all at Jewelry Maker Towers this is my entry for this week's Wall of Fame it's using amethyst chips but not sure what the beads are mm, what do you think amethyst. I thought they were amethyst as well oh hang on I might be flora actually mm. Mm. oh um, it's either fluorite or it's amethyst mm. my guess is probably it, uh, it's amethyst. Mm, My instinct beautiful. is amethyst, yeah. The trouble is I've got so many strands and no way of labelling them all. Yes. You need boxes with labels. Yes. Gems you and must. findings from Jewelry Maker, of course. <laughs> Keep up all of the inspiration and all of your low prices, please. And that's from Lynn in Cinderford, number 370. <laughs> Lynn, you just need to take a little bit, just a tiny bit. I mean, I'm not saying go as extreme as Mark, because that would just be, you know, extreme. Um, <laughs> What are you saying? Nothing. Um, <laughs> love your shows. Watch it every day. <laughs> I'm just starting out. Oh, you know my cupboard of doom? Oh, yes. And I said that I sorted it. Yeah. It's back to being doom again. I mean, it would be. <sighs> Yeah, I'm would. just starting out and your show always gives me inspiration. I have now bought, um, I have, pardon me, I've not bought any throws, anything from you, uh, but I will. Hey, what? I made this charm bracelet and earring said, sorry about the pic, but it's taken from uh, my phone uh, as my camera's broken. Oh, well, congratulations. Get by and get some gorgeous pieces. Thank you very much for sharing with us. And that's Rebecca 371. Oh, this is very Egyptian, isn't it? Stunning, absolutely stunning. I'm intrigued to see what these are. Okay, the next one I have is mm. 372, and this is from Sue in Litchfield. And Sue says, hello all at Jewelry Maker. Here is my latest entry for the Wall of Fame. I knew it, I knew it. One. It is a necklace made from chrome dioxide oh. and coated hematite <gasps> with gold chain and spacer beads, oh. all from Jewelry Maker. Wow. And the yellow beads are from my stash. Sorry about the photo quality. I haven't got the hang of a new camera yet. <laughs> and that's from Sue in Litchfield. It's those marquees. That's the chrome dioxide. Gorgeous. Gorgeous gemstone. I know. Well done, well done. <laughs> um, I have Jill Elliott in links here. She says, morning all. Uh, this is my latest entry to the Wall of Fame. I found this chenille knitting yarn in the local supermarket and had to have a go at making a necklace from it. Uh, I made the chain links from 8 mil antique bronze wire, thanks to Gemma Crow, and the Tiger's Eye Mookite gemstone chain uh, with a 6 mil gold wire and gold plated chain, all from Jury Maker. It's lovely and snugly to wear. As always, I am enjoying all the shows and have picked up so many tips from all of your designers brackets love them all thanks to you and that Jill well Jill thank you for inspiring us with a gorgeous idea of being able to almost like mm. it's like a scarf necklace yeah. skin necklace scarf necklace snarfless snarfless scarfless we'll think of that in the break yeah next laugh no scarf Scalaf. 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 We need to think about what is the word for you having a necklace and a, 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 um, a scarf. Scalaf. 
Are we going for a scan? Text in, text in. What is your word? And it has to be obviously. We're, we're trying to, like we do a brangle, which is somewhere between a bracelet and a, a bangle. We have a brangle. If you have an idea of what is, because that's quite inspirational. That I like the idea of getting, you know, maybe some of your textiles and your, your jewelry together. So uh, yes, let's be inspired and let's come up with a, a way to describe something between a scarf and a necklace. Six zero triple seven is where you can text into. Start your text with JM Studio and normal network charge just do apply and make sure you give us your name because it's always nice to know who's talking to us um, and it's always nice to, to know that we're all together um, coming up with what is a necklace slash scarf 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 I think it might be a scarf but I think I might have just made that up right then where should we go to what I'm gonna do oh dear <laughs> I was like, where's it gone I know it's here it's here I really, really, really like this strand. I think that this is really funky and I just know the jewelry you're gonna get out of this is gonna be really, really impressive. If you want to join us, this, this is yours. They are so funky. I've never seen us put anything like this to wear. I've never seen us offer you top drilled coins that you have here. These are your top drilled coins. Um, we'll just uh, the, gra the graphics are not quite right, but we will rectify those. Um, as you can see there, you have this huge opportunity, amazing arrangement of gemstones. They are all checkerboard faceted. So checkerboard faceting uh, is where you've got um, well, in America they call it the pineapple cut or shall I do my American accent pineapple cut that was my American accent pineapple cut uh, because if you think about the the formation of the, the triangles um, that's exactly what you've got here you've got that lovely grid formation uh, and on an open gemstone like this with such an, a nice size table and then that curvaceousness it just dazzles oh my goodness me when you see them on the hand it looks even better <gasps> could you imagine with a bit of our colored cord that we've just done that really would be a deal and a half just a jewelry piece that you could really maximize on I love the way they've been top drilled because then you've got that sense of of almost cascading gemstones that's really really pretty isn't it I wish we had these for our Strictly show last week oh could you imagine with those space beads that we've just done for your challenge could you imagine those where's those space beads gone who were that tube a second ago have you uh, I left them <laughs> um, take a look. He's been with Jenny and I for too long. That's why he's just like <laughs> half inching them. Take a look. Imagine that. Oh yeah. Oh, I mean, just I'm just mixing them up a bit. But could you imagine just breaking up each one of those with some of those spacer beads and having that amazing feature to the neckline, almost like a choker? You could imagine, couldn't you? Or maybe a pendant. Just one of them being a pendant <gasps> with the sterling silver chain. Oh, that's it. Gosh. That's it. Sterling silver chain. Just one of those as a pendant. How exclusive is that? That really would be fabulous, wouldn't it? Amazing. And if you already got today, if you've just got the kit, let's just highlight. I mean, let's go for the rose quartz. So let's just let's just mix in that rose quartz alongside. What about just something as simple as this? Strand of your rose quartz working together with those amazing. I've already got people buying on this strand. I've already got people seeing the potential and it is really, really busy today. We've done some big deals already. We knew it would because we've got some brand new stuff going on and that brand new stuff is stuff you want. So we knew it was gonna be a busy day but there's people buying instantly on these treats. Your strands of distinction are most certainly worthy of that definition of incredible quality luxury strands. Your Clear quartz are graduated coins, size wise 10 to 15 millimeter, an 18 centimeter strand. And what an offer this is going to be! How many have you got? Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. I'm counting 13. 13 of these individual pieces, sizing 10 to 15. How about this? Yours for the taking for. <laughs> 
Now I've been so busy preparing for this show based on doing things like laminating the Panatoni thing, which takes me a long time because it's technology. I've been so busy, we haven't even talked about the price on any of these things. We literally haven't talked about that's incredible. 992, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13 of these. That's working out at what? About 85 pence, something like that must be. About 85 pence a gemstone. Is that right? 76? Oh, I'm nowhere near. 76 pence a gemstone. <gasps> just think, sterling silver chain. Then one of those, just one, which is costing you eight, uh, 76. 76 pence as a pendant how much would you charge if you were selling your jewelry or how much if you were giving it as a gift would somebody expect that you'd paid for sterling silver and then your clear quartz graduated faceted coins as a single pendant it would be impressive you could do matching earrings if it's going to cost you that kind of small amount uh, you really have got something special there you really have got an opportunity i'm reckoning your smaller ones could be earrings the center pet stones of stones are your pendants and all yours all yours and each one of them is just 76 pence 76 pence goodness me absolutely beautiful now talking about beautiful let me just show you to complement and to give you the impact and perhaps these are a little bit more structural and and strong and powerful oh you know what i'm thinking you know, as we were, talk we were talking earlier on with the suede cord um, for the gents, and I was saying you just need one pendant mm. size, you know, almost dog tooth style uh, pendant. What about that? What about those? They're just single okay. pendants for the gents. That's iolite. That's iolite. I've never seen I like that big on it with us. Gosh. I've never seen this colour actually when you, when you see it, because normally the iolite is a little bit more delicate, yeah. isn't it? We've got here something really special uh, coming wow. your way. Should we do it straight after the break? Let's do it straight after the break. There are two easy ways to purchase from Jewelry Maker. You can watch our show on Sky, Virgin, Freeview or Freesat and call our free phone number where you'll be put through to our friendly help team who can place your order. Alternatively, you can go to our website and click the sign up button. Once you have filled in the required details, you can start shopping. You can watch the show by clicking the on air now button on the front page. You can also use our quick search tool and narrow down your results. Once you have found an item that you like, you simply click on the buy now button and the item will be added to your basket. Don't forget that you can add as many items to your basket per day for only one PNP. Enjoy shopping with Jewelry Maker. If for any reason you're not satisfied, you have the benefit of our no quibble 30 day money back guarantee. Just complete the returns form enclosed with your goods and send them back for a full refund. We all know you need the right tools for the job. So here at Jewelry Maker, we have designed a kit to make sure you have all the essentials to join in with the fun. With round nose, flat nose and wire cutter pliers, as well as a reamer, tweezers and a bead scoop, you've got everything you need in one place for just $9.95. We provide the tools, you provide the skills. When you place your first order with us, you will receive a free booklet and DVD full of handy hints, tips and tutorials to help you get started with your new jewellery maker hobby. If you have a question or query for Jewellery Maker, then you can contact our call centre on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Or alternatively, you can email help at jewellerymaker.com. size, colour, impact. We're not used to seeing iolite of this size. We're not used to seeing iolite of this colour and we're certainly not used to seeing iolite that has this quality and impact. 
This really is a very, very special strand that we're bringing you here. In terms of, of richness of color, this is as deep and as intense as I've ever seen us put Iolite to air. And of course, Iolite, its name derives from Ios Lithos, the violet gemstone. And this quite simply is the ultimate, the epitome of rich tones of violet. Um, we've got drama, I mean, a real intensity. I mean, that, that's probably the best way to see it because you can really get that sense of of, of in a saturated color that is, is bold and and intense a luxury that really is full bodied from each one of these gemstones you've got some beautiful detail onto the faceting of the gems but it's the size of the gemstones that i think i'm really impressed at the last time I, i've seen iolite on our channel it was literally you know your your really small um your small sizes you were lucky to get your three to four mils you were lucky five to six at the top these are 10 by 7 to 22 by 12. i mean that's that's nearly two and a half centimeters of of feature of feature size in each one of these opportunities of, of, of and i've called them pendants for most of these i'd classify them as pendants and in particular if you did get the suede cord where's that suede cord if you got the suede cord i think that this would be a beautiful piece uh, to work alongside some of the colors from your your suede cord i mean i would go even something like a mustard for something a little bit different, you know, just trying to get that. But if you wanted to color match, what about going for, for something like that, just to get the lighter colors from the suede? How's that? So you've got that real potential there. And again, if we want to go back to those Panatoni colors, what's one of the colors? Take a look at that. And then you've got those colors reflected in your eye. Like you really do have that richness of the colors. So it's a real reflection of quality that we're offering you here, a real sense of, of impact. But the size of these would go so, so far into giving you a real sense of exciting luxury edge to your jewelry. Big gemstones, certainly I've never seen us see anything like this on air of this size and to this color. Uh, and that's what makes it exciting for anybody who's looking for something that's gonna make your jewelry stand out from the crowd. You want something that's a, a definition of your jewelry collection. This is definitely going to be a statement. 140 carats of your eye light in these graduated faceted nuggets. Big size, big opportunity, small price tag. £11.95 is all you're going to pay. That's £11.95. How many are you getting? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. I mean, I think in, heading towards 20 gemstones. Heading towards 20 gemstones. What's that working out about? 60p each? Around 60 pence each. I mean, if we are just going to go for, for the suede cord, I think the suede cord, each one of those was coming in at, at less than a pound. That means for what, £1.50, around about £1.50, you could make yourself a very simple uh, neckline suede and, and pendant design, £11.95. And if you think about qualities of, of colouring, let me just show you how beautifully this iolite mixes in with the kit <sighs> that is dramatic that really is a dramatic quality that we're bringing you here really impressive the, the kit's coming up very very soon i think if you if you're getting one you know if you're going to get the kit you get the eye light if you get the eye light you're going to get the kit the two really do work very very well and in, in, in match each other and the intensity matches as well i think the colors the richness of those beautiful purples from the kit really do match the intensity and the saturation of the color of the eye light but i've just got to highlight normally with gemstones the larger they become the more dissipated the color is you know and the more exposed they are to imperfections but here you've got all of that quality all of that luxury in a gemstone we just don't see that often i mean how many times have you seen iolite in the past month the past two months the next six it doesn't happen very often so enjoy it you're also going to take it 11 pounds 95 is all you're going to pay
Now I think to match alongside it, if I, I've just put it away and part of me thinks let's just keep hold of it for a second. How about mixing your Labradorite? Now then the moment you say Labradorite you want to see Labradorescence and this is a, a very reactive light optical quality gem strand. Um, let me just quickly do this. Look at this. <laughs> really, really impressive really really strong quality of your iolite um, so I've got the iolite tick that box now I'm going to give you your labradorite and just look at this just look at all of those colors coming off the surface there is a lot of quality here now unfortunately, unfortunately I don't have a huge quantity to go around. I really don't have a lot to go around. And these are really exciting, unique shapes, aren't they? You know, they're not just your standard rounds. They're not just your standard nuggets. That means you've got something exciting. And every movement, look at that. I mean, I'm hardly moving these. And as I move them, the colors are just, they're just bursting into life I mean absolutely bursting into life 45 carats of your labradorite in these graduated step cut nuggets 8 by 6 to 15 by 9 millimeter and it's a lot of gemstones and a lot of potential and the colors you wait till you get a term I promise you there is not one on this strand that isn't erupting with those labradorescents I mean genuinely if whether it's going to be the greens the pinks the yellows whether you go for the golden tones whatever color you're looking for from labradorite you are going to get in this one strand it is not going to disappoint and of course you've got a 30 day money back guarantee so you'll see for yourself all of that potential within this one strand if you want to join us this is the chance this is the opportunity what are you going to do and what what offer can we give you one of our top selling gemstones uh, of course we've got the award ceremony coming up at the end of the year and uh, we're going to start getting out those questions to ask you what is your favorite gemstone what's your favorite strand of distinction what's your favorite design of the year you've got all those questions to answer but i know pretty guaranteed the top three the top gemstone of, of, of the moment, I would suggest for the second year running will be Labradorite. I don't think there's another gemstone that's come around that will beat Labradorite. I might be wrong. It'll be interesting to find out. But for me, it's definitely going to be a top, it's going to be a top three gemstone out of jewelry oh. making stock, hasn't it? Has yes, to be. Without a doubt. I think it'll still be number one. Oh, it's so exciting to know what it is. <laughs> when you know what the answers are for the first year, it's quite nice to yes. then look back and go, ooh, and I've started organising it. So, you know, you've got to keep an eye on Facebook um, because we will start to release the questions, um, you know, and ask you day by day, what's your favourite design of the year? What's your favourite gemstone of the year? All of those things. I'm really looking forward to hearing and, and finding out what the, what the results are. And of course, we'll have our big award ceremony at the end of the year to, to celebrate Jury Maker 2013 and introduce you to 2014 as well some new treats to look forward to next year Ooh. anyway I digress Labradorite I think it'll be one of the top if not the top of the gemstones of choice and this strand is why because of its beauty and its quality if you want it you're gonna have to come and grab it Wow 995 995 is all you pay that's the kind of pricing now if I just hold it there I can you see look at the golds look at the greens and then all of a sudden can you see those blues coming through this is the amazing quality of this gemstone the golds and the greens are just as prominent as the blues if you're getting quality labradorite you know about it because you've got all of those ranges of color from every single gemstone and that's quality for 9.95 that's going to go a long long way isn't it that is going to go a long long way congratulations if you got that one an absolute treat and a half labradorite ticking all the boxes ticking all the boxes uh, right then straight on Oh, let's go to your sterling silver. Ooh, and I have to say, sterling silver crimp beads on a double trouble deal. 
See, whenever whenever I say something, Mark, he's literally, he, he listens to everything. And so I love working with Mark. He's always, he's just so, and if I say something, he just, he just goes, Literally, he's like, what's going on here? What, what do you mean double trouble on sterling silver? What do you mean? I can imagine you sitting at home when you're not designed, I, like not joining this. I actually often have like this image of you watching because I can imagine you going, they're doing what? Like this, I'm putting your cup down and getting ready to, I can literally imagine you, it often is the well, case. If, if this was my desk at home, I'd be sat here making jewelry and my TV would be here in the corner yeah. and I'd be pottering away and it would be, and then I'll carry on and it'll be <laughs> so it's quite disruptive actually watching you when I'm, when I'm, when I'm at home yeah <laughs> sorry about that <laughs> we're quite disruptive we're not just disruptive we're quite disruptive yeah. I, I to be honest that's complimentary I think uh, I've had worse being said about me that's for sure um take a look at this 200 pieces ah oh, never a true word said in jest we have got here a hundred sterling silver crimp beads for you and not just 100 but it's a double trouble deal so double it and that's 200 sterling silver crimp beads for one price tag the price tag you should be paying on these i think is pretty tremendous actually for a hundred sterling silver crimp beads you should be paying six pounds 95 each i think that's brilliant i didn't know they were that low if you would have asked me what price tag is a hundred sterling silver crimp beads i'd have guessed a tenner i'd have said around about 9.95 I mean, there could be spaces, little tubes, the detail like that. Don't have to just be crimp beads. They could be de decorative aspects. And why not think about that? I think that's brilliant, eight six ninety five. But if you're going to get two hundred and it's a double trouble deal and one hundred six ninety five, so you should be paying what nearly thirteen plus pounds, thirteen. 13 pound nearly 14 pounds, isn't it? Thirteen pound ninety. You should be paying. So you should be paying thirteen pound ninety. For 200 sterling silver crimp beads, I don't think we need to do anything lower than that. Kim disagrees. Kim says, buy one pack of 100 for 6.95, get another 100 sterling silver crimp beads for two pounds. Sterling silver, 100 sterling silver crimp beads for two pounds two pounds and of course one of the biggest and most important things we've got to highlight is this is that you know when you start to look at, at buying in bulk on these things crimp beads go so far but also you use them every day absolutely absolutely and um what I, if i could pass this over to show you is something that i've been doing quite often and lots of viewers are, are having a go at are the macrame rings now at the back i've used two or three silver plated crimps to hold the ring together. Now imagine if you can just use one sterling silver. silver crimp, twice the length of the ordinary that we get in the kit. Yep. So you'd only need one. Show those again. So you could even add sterling silver to your macrame bead, beading thread rings. Wouldn't that be special? Well, just would add another uh, part, yeah. uh, another facet to your jewellery selling, Absolutely. isn't it? If you are yeah. selling your jewellery, or even just for yourself, just the luxury of knowing mm. that you're wearing sterling silver, I think is it's different, yeah. isn't it? It does have a different feel about it, and it makes you feel different because you feel quite glamorous and then, mm. wow, sterling silver, and you know it's a precious metal. Um, did you hear what I was saying about yesterday about how how rare it is to find sterling silver in the Earth's crust? Seventy-three parts per billion. Of, of the Earth's crust is silver. Wow. Yeah. I made wow. Pete do the maths for us. That that works out at, can you remember what it is? 163,630 million parts um, of the Earth's crust. Wow. Yeah. I can't that's remember impressive. the planets, but that was, that's that, <laughs> roughly that was. Um, loads of people on the phone lines for our double trouble deal. Basically, we've just given you a sterling silver pack of 100 crimp beads for £2. By that deal, for £2 you're getting another 100 crimp beads uh, for 8 95 in total. That's a bit of a blind and deal mind, isn't it? I know that was a bit of a sneaky one. Oh look, I've got some left in the bag. I was showing you them all and I wasn't actually showing you 100. <sighs> Need to keep your eye on me. Uh, huh? There you go. Um, right, shall we move on? Shall we go to this kit? Because I've got loads of people going, 
Ooh, Vix. I've just shown you the kid for like maybe about 10, 10, 10 minutes ago. I showed you the kid and then loads of text messages going, ooh. I've also had loads of people texting in. We're going to call it a ne scarf lace. Oh, that's good. I like that. Scarf lace. A Ooh. neck scarf. Or neck laugh. <laughs> <laughs> neck laugh is quite good. That makes me giggle. A neck laugh. <laughs> or a what? Scarf lace. We need to get some kind of poll. We need to know which one it is. Is it going to be a scarf lace or isn't it neck laugh? Oh, we need to have some kind of decision. We're going to have a decision. Neck laugh. <laughs> neck laugh is just funny though, isn't it? A neck laugh. <laughs> we'll have to get, the, get everybody up into the production room. They always have to, they have to have a little um, poll and decide what's it going to be. Um, or maybe we should. I can't remember the lovely lady's name. Mark, what's the lovely lady's name who did the, the neck laugh? What's... Her name was... Uh, Jill. Jill. Jill, I think because Jill has inspired us with our neck laugh or our <laughs> scarf lace, Jill, you are the lady who's going to decide which one it's going to be. Is that fair? Yeah, no, perfectly fair. You know, she's inspired us to make neck laughs. It's a neck laugh. I've said it too many times now. Neck laugh. Uh, for me, it's a neck laugh. Scarf lace. I know, it's ooh. But either way, we'll let Jill decide. You decide. Um, right, this is your violets are purple and it's got to be an instant reaction that you have to this kit. And I have had loads of people texting in. I had lots of people deciding whether it's going to be a neck laugh or a scarf lace, but then I had an instant influx of people texting in about this kit going, oh, when's it coming up? When are you going to do this one? Now. Now is the answer. It's a limited edition kit. Gotta realise this is a limited edition kit though. Please do ensure that if you see it and you like it that this is the one. The reason it's limited edition is because of this strand. Just top quality, high regarded, luxury amethyst. This is your 400 carat amethyst faceted nugget strand now the facts are is, is that this is a limited kit based on the the principles of us that we just can't get strands like this in huge quantities but we wanted to make a kit that had this as a focal point so if you want it limited edition and i'll say it over and over again these are not words they are simple calls to action if you see limited edition that's not us saying to you you know oh we've got 900 in stock that's literally us saying it's a limited available opportunity it's double figure quantity and that means that if you see it and you like it then you do need to make your purchase that's a call to action it's nothing other than giving you information that you need to know because we don't want you to lose out we have a lot of people who say you know why do you sell out of this and why do you not have enough of that well we do our very best these days to make sure that if, if it is a low stock quantity we tell you about it so we know that we're given all of the information and almost just gone okay the ball's in your court it's a limited edition if you like it then buy it sooner rather than later otherwise we can't guarantee you're going to get it that's the best way and that's that's I always think that knowledge is power isn't it and, and even if it's just the knowledge of we don't have a lot to go around and then you make your decision when you're going to buy it then I think that's better than us being um, you know eggy about it or you not knowing where you stand um, I like that word eggy you know the 80s word I used to say that a lot in the 80s oh did you along with mega mega which you use mega quite a lot as well mega I do use the word mm. am I just an 80s chick I think so am I yeah. nothing wrong with that I said, just call me, just call me old on air, Mark. Go on, just well, do it. because I'm older than you, so that's all right. I'm the oldest down in this floor, I think, today. Yeah. Yeah. Brilliant. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you what they're talking about in, in my ear about our age. I'm not even going to go there, Mark. All I'm right. not even going to mention. Tom said some people might have even been born in the 70s. <laughs> At the beginning of the 70s? <laughs> <laughs> Some of us might have seen the whole of the 70s. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> <laughs> we have got for you pilots are purple. <laughs> Convince myself that I'm younger than I am. 
<laughs> yeah, I'm here. You're perfect. Amethyst and 400 just flying out, flying out, and rightly so, because loads of people have fallen in love with your amethyst, and there's so much more to offer. You've got your purple colour quartz as well, those gorgeous rich colours. I want to see the size of this eight millimetre. Look at that. Look at the depth of those purple colour quartz. Adding in another shade of the colours, thanks to Yosh Purple Nuggets. And these nuggets are really interesting because they're not uh, standard rounded nuggets. They're almost um, triangular. Is that the best way to describe them? They're definitely different. They're not nuggets to, to how I would standardly. And you see the shape of them. Yeah, I just want to show you them that they're, it's very difficult to describe them. They almost have like a little shelf to them. Maybe that's the way to describe them. The nuggets with a little shelf, uh, an additional uh, formation. Of course, it's just the way that it forms. It's just how it is. Um, then on top of that, you've got your fluorite irregular cubes. Now, check this out. I fell in love with this bracelet when I saw it today. I was like, oh, Mark. I love it with those cubes. I love that look with the cubes. It's just a simple cuff, but it's such an effective mm. cuff. And, and it is just using, and I presume that you colour... Like separated them, did you? God, Mark, these kits must take you so long to make mm, because you take so much time and pride in the finish of your jewellery. Mm. You know, you've got to know that, it, you know, jewellery is only looking that good because we understand that you put a lot of time and effort in because you must have divided all of the greens to one side. And all the p you did, didn't you? I knew you did. You can tell though, can't you? When somebody's put the time and effort in, you can tell because the, the, the quality of the jewellery just says luxury, it finished. Somebody's really paid attention and that's gorgeous. Really striking cuff design that you have there. Okay, let's just hang, hang, hang and, and add in some more because I will just say to you, I've got limited stock now on this. It is already selling down. We have got a very popular kit here. Let's just remind ourselves that you've got over 400 carats of amethyst and that in its own right is an £11.95 price tag. And that amethyst is just such a rich color. Again, going back to those panettone colors uh, of the season. And let's just go to the, uh, is it Ake? Okay, A C A I Akai. Is that how yes. you say it? Yes. Akai? I have no idea. It's just a name for them, obviously. And if I just do that, <sighs> that is literally one of the colours of autumn. And if you go into your fashion shops with something like that in your hand, I could pretty much guarantee every fashion shop will have those colours in stock because anything that's in the Panatoni fashion colouring is in the high straight. So those are the colours that you're going to see. So it's almost like your little guy. You can laminate if you want. And you could do that. Laminate and just have it in your handbag. Get it out. Go, oh, that's a colour that could go with that. You might want to do that. Or you might just want to go, that's interesting, Vix. I'm going to get this kit, so I'm going to get my jewellery that matches some of the things in my, my clothes that I could work alongside to get the, the fashion colours but without having to buy fashion clothes. I quite like that idea, make, you, make your clothes go further. Uh, you've got the chance to get a lovely combination. You've seen the thread in action, the cord that Mark's used within this beautiful uh, cuff bracelet. Uh, that's your lilac cord. Then you've got your beading thread. You're getting elastic in two colors. You're getting your clear and you've got your purples. We've got your monofilament. And to finish it all off, you've also got your 98 pieces of your uh, silver plated copper findings. That includes your meter of chain, which I think sometimes we all get a little bit complacent about but we shan't allow that to happen because it's too good a kit this it's the, the findings are just so good that we must never get complacent about the opportunity of working with a meter of chain as part of a findings pack I think if most places were going to give you a findings pack they would not include a meter of chain by but they just wouldn't they just wouldn't um, they'd make you pay a lot more money than what we do for anything like the kit that we make in terms of just the findings. So you've got a very, 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 oh look, there's a knot in that chain. Anybody know anybody who's good at taking out knots? Any? Kim's apparently just had a phone call from Hannah Roxbury. She's getting business from her de-knotting because she's just had a phone call from Hannah Roxbury in the production room saying after the show finishes, it's nice that she's let us like finish the show. After the show finishes, can, uh, can Kim go straight up because she's got a big knot in her, um, in her cord and uh, she needs it undoing. So can Kim sort it out? Isn't that nice, charge? Don't charge me because I'm obviously, I was your publicity. <laughs> 
I was the publicity. I think that I should get any commission. I'll, get, I'll say 10%. 10%. 7%. All right. Uh, Violet of... Uh, <laughs> Tom's going to manage Kim's de knotting <laughs> and so he's going to go for some commission. To be honest, Kim, I'd just say it's probably not worth your de knotting because we're just going to take all your money and run. Uh, <laughs> amethyst and your purple quartz. You've then got your cute fluorite cubes and finish it off with your shell with your sil uh, silver plated findings and lots and lots of threads and additional bonuses, all for one price tag. Unfortunately, I'm down to last of stock now on this one. Even before I've introduced the price, I've got people buying it. That's because it's the kind of kit that oh, it's gonna sell. Yours for the taking, congratulations. It should be almost 40 pounds and the price you're actually paying is just 21 pounds and 95 pence. I think most people would be happy to pay that just for that one strand of amethyst. There's a big, feature quality amethyst and Mark has used them beautifully um, in two different designs. First of all, in the earrings that I'm wearing and where you've just taken one. Just one. Mm -hmm. And if he's going to sell amethyst earrings, why not sell them in just very simple, stylish earrings like this? Because they're the right design for a lot of people to like, you know, because I guess when you're selling your jewellery, I, um, I, I nipped into the business course a couple of times yesterday. Um, and I, we having a really good chat. And I think that the business course yesterday, it felt like they had learned so much uh, with the amazing, um, I mean, genuinely, they, every time I walked past, they were all really hooked into to learning and learning and learning some more. And what we were, we were talking about when I was in, we're saying in some ways when you're jewelry making for yourself and as part of a hobby you could be really quite general but as part of a business perhaps you need to be a little bit more focused on what sells and in some mm. ways the focus on what sells is jewelry like this which is easy wear everybody can attach to the gemstone that it is because everybody knows amethyst and it also needs to have that universal um, design so it doesn't have to be too over the top. You know, maybe do a few pieces that are quite dramatic as part of your feature to your soul, but many of the pieces just need to be almost really effective, easy wear jewelry. And so maybe that's something that, you know, when you, if you are moving through to, to sell your jewelry, Amethyst is a selling gemstone. Amethyst is most certainly, uh, if you went to most jeweler shops, they will have a decent supply of amethyst because it's such a, a highly mm. regarded gemstone. And it's so aesthetic. Oh, I've left me, um, that necklace, I don't want to leave that because we want to talk about this necklace. Um, because you've mixed two different uh, types of finish yes, in this one I necklace, have, haven't you? Absolutely, yes. Well, I kept that, that strand of shell right to the very end because I wanted to do something special with it. And uh, it reminded me of little whistles that the PE teachers oh, would blow at school. Oh, that's exactly that. so what it is. Really, really, really that's nice a good shape. way to describe it. I said with the little the, shelf, little but you're whistles. right. That's exactly yes, what yeah. like the little, little whistles. Yeah, so I've used um, the, the satin cord to do the actual backing do it of there. it. There you go. And then, um, so you've and you've done the twisted, just the uh, straightforward twist knot. Yeah. And then um, I used the whole strand, apart from six of the beads, which I've made a pair of earrings on the other side, and I just made one continuous loop of the chain with the crochet hook, and then I folded it double over each other, attached an eye pin left and right, yeah. and then attached it to the to the necklace. And it oh, I thought you'd really plastered well. it. No, that's just as it as it was on the when I um. Oh, I see. It's like literally four yeah. times, isn't yeah, it? So it. you've done, you've done it, and then you've gone back on yourself. That's it. Oh, I yeah. see. Yeah. Gosh, and that yeah, is mm. such a great result, though. But it, it looks a massively gem-heavy necklace, but it it's, it doesn't weigh anything at all. No, I will just show you the the, the shape of those. Can you see that? Not fab. I like the shape of those because mm. they're just different, they're aren't they? And they can catch the light. And talking of shape. Those mm. cubes work really well to create this lovely, it's almost like a brick formation. Absolutely, no, it's beautiful. And, and as you said, I, I separated the colours. So I had the <laughs> greens, I had the whites, and I had the purples. And the greens with that with that lilac satin, I just, where well, you can see, it just looks beautiful. Isn't it just such a, and it, it's the kind of jewellery that, again, from my perspective, would sell. You mm. know, when I look at it, if you are thinking about selling, I guess in some ways we kind of are talking about selling jewellery quite a bit because at the moment there's a lot of affairs going on, there's lots of people working up towards Christmas, and there's 
there's quite a lot of craft stuff going mm. on and and if you are at that moment where you you know you've got jewelry that actually you think you could make the most of and and you you're not going to give it as a gift for christmas or you're not going to keep it for yourself why not give it a go why not sell your jewelry especially if you're working with genuine gemstones and designs like this are so easy to accomplish oh, but absolutely. incredibly effective to the point where people will want to mm. uh to to buy them you know so why not give yeah, it a go yeah. and for prices like this it's not a huge outlay uh, 21 pounds and 95 pence and how many jewelry pieces have we made one two three four five six seven eight nine pieces and you had plenty more amethyst mm -hmm. left to be able to make at least another three or four yep. pairs of earrings Absolutely. well that's working out what about two pound forty a piece of jewelry Less than two pound fifty a piece wow. of jewellery, <laughs> but amethyst. And again, if you said to somebody, "Would you like to own a piece of amethyst jewellery for less than two pound fifty?" They'd think that you'd either were off your rocker, or the one thing they say is, "Is it synthetic? Is it genuine amethyst?" Because how are you going to do genuine amethyst for two pound fifty? We can. Mm. Show me what you're going to mm. do. Right. This is the the goddess bracelet, but there's a this very, one, yeah? there's a variation of it. Um, last Friday. Um, I did a charity event for Macmillan. It was the Macmillan Coffee Morning. Oh, it was. Yes, I went to And it, I, it went really well. I was really, oh, really pleased. Well done. Um, I had a really good morning. And we were talk, I was talking to a lady who um, has recently started watching the show. And we were talking about goddess bracelets. And she found it really fiddly to do it the way that I demoed it. Ah, oh, OK. So she kindly, and I can't remember the lady's name. I do apologise if you're watching. She showed me a much simpler way to do it. So ah. even us, get, us guest designers get inspiration from people we meet. Well, that's at, how it should at, be, though, at, isn't at craft it? Layers. Which is why the Wall of Fame is always so absolutely, brilliant. Yeah. Absolutely. So um, when you're doing um, any type of macrame using the satin cord, yeah. what I do is before you actually start any of your work, is just dab. This is nail strengthener you can get from most um, yeah. chemist shops that, um, that I use. And all I've done is the bottom inch is just coat it, just put a blob on your finger and draw it backwards and forwards yeah. and so it becomes nice and nice and stiff like so and just leave it until it, until it goes hard okay? yeah. and then as you're doing your threading if it does start to fray mm -hmm. you just cut off a couple yeah, of millimetres each time so you don't have to keep stopping and reapplying and that sort yeah. of thing and what you do then is you take two pieces of your cord about two foot long and you thread on beads now these, these purple quartz will take the satin really nicely so depending on the length of your bracelet, I've just got a small selection here. I think I've used 14 on each side on that particular bracelet. And all I've done is between each bead, I've just tied a simple knot, again using your, your bead reamer or your awl, just to bring up the knot nice and close to the beads, like so. And we'll do the same on the other side. So not only does it keep the beads intact, it actually aids you when you come to do the actual goddess bracelet weaving. So you're knotting each one? Yeah, knotting each one. Well, in, in itself makes a really nice piece of jewellery, I think. I was going to say, it just looks really pretty, doesn't it? Jewelry. So we'll attach these at the bottom of our board. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> now, I hope you nobody minds, but this is the, the mini board that we had on our day last week. So I sort of I purloined it. <laughs> I don't anybody mind. Okay, so what I've done at the top is I've taken another piece of thread, again, about three foot long, and I've done just one square knot, so a left and a right. And as I at see, you've like you've gone. You staggered it. Yeah, that's absolutely. It yeah. yeah. Okay. So all you do then is you decide which side you want to start. I'll start on the left. Now in the past, when we're doing our our weaving, the beads are all loose. They're all going up and down. They're all getting twisted, and it was a bit of a nightmare. It was achievable, but it did take a lot of time because it's now knotted. They're not going to move. You pop it under the first bead, like so. Okay, and then we go over. And again, we, we do it sort of a diagonal, like so, and then we pull it across. I just, I just do not know why I didn't think of this originally. It was just amazing. So we go over, keeping the diagonal, and as you can see, there's no stress. None of the beads are moving. It's very, very, very simple. So you continue all the way down to get to the bottom of your beads on one side. See how how lovely this is. It's how simple. Oh, you don't, it's, it's not even fiddly. No, it's not fiddly anymore. Just because we've knotted those beads in place. Oh, to that lovely lady who came up with yep. this. Uh, who obviously. Yes. Oh, uh, I'm really do apologise. I've had so many let people come to say hello that. Um, and she says she's only been watching the show about six or seven weeks, and she saw this demoed. Or I think it was must have been on the Late Show, and um, she had a go, and it was fiddly, and thought, what about knotting? 
It's not funny how just amazing. some people yeah. just go, ting, amazing. and you just go, well done, you. Yeah. Yeah, oh, well, yeah. thank you so yeah. much. And if you are watching today, uh, that's you. brilliant. <laughs> really, really kind. So, so we've done the left-hand side, yeah. and then we do exactly the same with the right-hand side. So we pop it across, underneath, like so. And catch those in there. And then we just repeat the same process. And again, as I said, it just they just don't move. It's lovely. So we push that underneath. Gosh, I just can't believe how simple it is. Yeah. It's actually because of the knots, they're quite. Sh it's quite structured yes, straight right, away, straight isn't away, it? Absolutely. Yeah, it's like quite um, oh, it easily worn, yeah. even just as they if they weren't then woven in like this. And then you just keep going until you get to the bottom, so you get that zag zigzag pattern. And all I've done to finish it, you don't even need any findings for this. Is one end. I've gathered up the two ends, and mm -hmm. I've just tied a simple knot. So we've got that little buttonhole. Yeah. And then at the other end, I've done um, three or four macrame stitches. And then a bubble dot at the bottom, and then it's simple as that. And then you just pop that in. And what I've done is I've kept the ends and I've just frayed them slightly just to give a bit of bit of effect. And then you just simply pop the button through the buttonhole. If you didn't made. like it frayed, yeah. then how would you finish it? Would you cut them and well, you then would just cut add it a little off bit of and then add a nail varnish or, okay. or a bit of glue? I mean the, the cement that we've got on the on the in the on the website, mm -hmm. which is what we use in the on the workshops, it's fantastic. And it's got a very, very very fine nozzle point as well, so you can get it's right really in there. Yeah. Oh, I tell you what, Mike, would we'll it? You know that zapper? That would do it. it might that do, would it. do it. Wouldn't yep, it? yep. And then you have your, and like I said that it's really sturdy. It's not going to move. None of the knots are going to slip out, and it's just a really a so much easier way of doing your goddess bracelet just by knotting in between. Big up. I think it's lovely. So Fab, loving it, loving it, loving it. Nice, just Brilliant. a simple tip to just make absolutely, life easier. Absolutely. We like that. £21.95 pence, and it is now last of stock that we have available on this kit. It's called Violets of Purple Jewelry Kit. It includes 400 carats of amethyst. It includes your purple colour quartz plus your shell nugget and your rainbow fluorite cubes. You've got your lilac satin cord going alongside there, your elastic, your beading thread, monofilament, clear elastic as well. All yours for one price tag and a fantastic price at that of £21.95 should be closer to 40 pounds now if you're loving your amethyst we've just brought you the kit let's match alongside it let's build up your purple stash of amethyst just have a look is this another bit of a double trouble one it kind of looks like a double trouble okay well it's called regal revelations lovely um we have got we have got here dramatic, rich qualities. You've got 400 carats uh, from your last kit, 400 carats, and then match it alongside your ovals. Say 18 by 13, yep, 18 by 30 millimeter ovals. Match alongside with your puffy coins of eight millimeter. One of our most requested and desired, again, I think I'm right in saying that Labradorite came, came first uh, last year for our award ceremony of 2012. Um, Amethyst was second and it really was you didn't know which one it was going to be and obviously for us where we were trying to get the product based around what was winning and what was you know your top five and stuff and we had loads of stuff that we're trying to run. honestly amethyst amethyst just kept on going so we're like okay we need to get some more amethyst in and then we're like, no it's labrador oh it's going to be amethyst we didn't know which one was going to win and i tell you what i'm not surprised to hear that uh, we've got uh, we've got some very 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 big big people in our jewelry world right now and we've got some big traders who buy from us as well who are buying up these kind of deals at the moment because amethyst is just not that easy to get at the moment in terms of quality uh, for whatever reason of course sometimes it's 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 the the way of mother nature sometimes we can get hold of gemstones other times we can't and this gemstone we really struggle to get in the past six to nine months in big quantities and this is some of our the fruits of our labor we have got for you here your ovals and your coins and you should be paying for each strand nine pounds 45 for each strand so what that's 18 pound 90 instead you're paying just 12 pounds 95 
bow strands for £12.95, a real treat and a half. So if you buy one, you get the other one for pretty much half price. Is that right? Yeah. Buy one, get the other one for pretty much, in fact, less than half price. Yeah, it is, isn't it? It's less than half price. So you buy one and you get the second one for £3.50. How do you fancy a strand for £3.50 today? Yes, I know. It doesn't sound right, but I know that it's happening. Let's just uh, remind you, look at that satin cord again and how well the colours mix and match against these satin cords that we introduced you. Of course, would go beautifully with your kit if I just introduced those colours of the kit as well. Look at this. Let's keep on adding in. Oh, it's just right. You could actually go for a little bit of a darker colour as well, couldn't you? That would be rich. That would be gorgeous. I like that colour. I don't know what colour to describe that, but I really like it. Well, the dam, it's not even dam, that's too light to be damson. Yeah, you know? it's not, it's not, because damson's like a really dark colour, isn't it? Mm. I don't know, light damson. <laughs> Beaujolais Nouveau. If I could say that, then that'd be fine. <laughs> <laughs> what did you call it? Beaujolais Nouveau, it's coming out this week. What is? Beaujolais Nouveau. Oh, it's wine, it's wine. It's, oh, it's, it's wine. wine. Yeah. I'm like, what's yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. I know we're all going, oh. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> You're lucky if I know what sparkling is. Do you know <laughs> what I mean? Give us a bit of carver. <laughs> 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 what's that one with the little M? Oh, um, what's that little M one with the, oh, what's it called? You know the little deer? Baby sham. <laughs> Do you know what baby sham is? Do you know what baby sham is? <laughs> oh, lovely. It's tasty. Yeah. Well, what is it? It's a, it's Lemonade? a, no, it's a perry, which is a, a sparkling wine made with pear. Oh, it's basically pear cider. Yeah. Oh, lovely. That's good to know, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. Oh, I've learned something new there again, Marky Mark. That's two interesting things you've given me. You've told me about the queen and her pearls, and mm -hmm. now you've told me a little bit about baby sham. Obviously, other sparkling pear, cidery kind of drinks are available. <laughs> um, straight on we go. Two. Oh, look. Oh. Oh, that is just gorgeous. Look at these pearls. Oh, my goodness. But matching with the kit. I mean, it's idyllic. What about with like, the, the pearl, your shell? What about putting them with the shell? Oh. These pearls are ex. No, please don't tell me we're going to do a double trouble on two strands <laughs> of pearl. We are. We're going to do a double trouble on two strands of pearls. They're not purples. They are perfect purples. These are exquisite feature, perfect purple potato pearls. How about that? Absolutely exquisite and ex extraordinary opportunity heading your way think about all of the colors that you want to wear for christmas you know think about the richness of quality that you want from your jewelry you're heading out for in your little black dress you want to go a little bit rich and dramatic you want to go for those darker tones bang the color comes at you again reminding you think of the colors that are going in this season the panettone colors of this season and just take a look at that matching it makes me think of of a perfect perfect um, Christmas event I mean, can imagine you know you've got some kind of party event it might be around at friends house it might be going out for a little cocktail with friends whatever it's gonna be and you want to just have that really glamorous not too over the top but really Christmassy feel to your jewelry I think maybe adding in a little bit of gold that would really just give you another dynamic I'm gonna get that price in because I've got double trouble people jumping in on this one limited stock already literally you're gonna have, well we have people who wait for our double trouble deals and even before we even mention what it is people buy the double trouble just based on the fact they know it's gonna be a deal double trouble means that you're gonna get a deal and I tell you what this is delicious <laughs> Kim always says yeah double trouble means that she's gonna get into trouble because quite simply she <laughs> takes the prices too low and then she gets it and you've got a triple trouble as well today 
<gasps> oh, she's pushing a look. She's pushing a look. She's pushing a look. A look. A look. She's pushing a look. She's pushing a look. She's gonna get her P45. You've got a <laughs> double trouble deal. Oh my word. <laughs> I'm waiting for the phone call. Five, four, three, two, one. There it is. <laughs> it actually rang. Listen, listen, listen. Is the phone ringing? That is. I know, I know Paula and Hannah Roxbury so well that the moment they see things, they're like, hello, Kim. <laughs> Eight pounds, 95. That is hilarious. Could you do that thing you do when you wind them up with the pearls behind you on your left? Can I do that thing yeah. I do? You mean my, my special talent of twisting gemstones? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I can. <laughs> I just think that is the most... Just beautiful so combination. I'm so talented. <laughs> can, I, can you just do that thing you do? You mean the twisting thing? Yes, Mark, I can. Look, <laughs> Look at, at me with my... Oh. Isn't that the most beautiful combination ever? <sighs> oh. <laughs> You've got to get a shot. <laughs> 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 That is so funny. Move there. That's it. They're just stood in the gallery because we've got a gallery over our studio. There's Paula and Hannah Roxbury. Look at this. They are watching and they are not impressed. Look at these girls. Oh, oh, and Ed. Oh, they're all. And then look, more people. Oh, they're just not. Look, shaking their head. <laughs> That is so funny. That's, that's so funny, but really not funny for my job, Vicky. That's really funny, but really not for my job. She's like, all right, just don't tell people. When you do it, just do the... Oh, that's so funny. My cheeks hurt because I've laughed over there. Oh, that's brilliant. Um, okay, double trouble. Now, you know how you've just said you had a triple trouble? Do you not think it's just worth getting them over with now? So that, you know... Yeah. <laughs> Kim says let's do it while they're still up in the gallery and not watching the TV let's do the next one <laughs> okay which one am I going to uh, let's have a on a triple trouble these are sterling silver we're about to do sterling silver triple trouble now it is limited stock it is first come first served sterling silver bead caps on a triple trouble deal so they normally come in a pack of 20 so there they are let me just quickly show you them so you can see exactly if you don't know what a bead cap is it really is it says what the it does on the tin really um you know some things like crimps you go well that doesn't help me to understand what it does but these really are the word says it all bead cap it caps the bead but it's not the only thing that it can do i think you know as jewelry makers we like to think outside of the box because you can hammer these so you can have them as spacer beads you can really add some detail to your designs just adding them as spacers so there's lots of potential but they're classified as bead caps and they have that nice curvaceousness so they they cushion against the the gemstones so you've got 20 sterling silver flowers that's numbered that's that's deal number one of course this is not just a double trouble no 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 it's a triple trouble oh mark do your really deep voice and i'll do triple trouble you say triple trouble and i'll pretend ready okay, one Go. two three triple trouble <laughs> do it again one more time one two three Triple trouble. <laughs> I'll never ever get tired of doing that. I'd never ever get bored of that. Okay, we've already got people buying already. In fact, you know the double troublers, the people who wait for the double trouble deals? They're already there on the triple trouble. They're like, you think that I am not going to get the triple trouble? You are wrong and I'm buying. Uh, good for you. I've got there, not 20, not 40, but 60 sterling silver bead caps for you. It's a triple trouble deal. Each 20 should be £5.90. Really? 
for sterling silver. Have you checked that price? <laughs> Kim says she said she has she has checked and triple checked that price tag. It should be for twenty five ninety five. That's a good price tag for twenty is five ninety five. So you should be talking five ninety five. So that should be more, and that should be more again. <laughs> but the price is sure. You're going to have to be so quick. You should be paying five ninety five for twenty. You've got sixty for eight ninety five. That means a further each one of those twenty is just one pound fifty. Sterling silver. I mean, if you want to add luxury to your jewellery, you do it by adding sterling silver, that precious metal. You know, when you consider how how very very special to the point where if you went to to New York and if you went to the jewellery quarter right now, um, normally. Now it's really interesting, if you've ever been to New York, I don't know loads of people will have, but if you go to the jury quarter in New York and you go behind, Mark have you ever been to New York? No, never, right. never. You need to go, you would just have a field day, oh my goodness mate, you'd be in seventh heaven, right? You literally, you go through double doors and you think it, it's just, it just looks like a building, just like, like a normal building, but you know you're in the jury quarter, right, because you look in your little book because it tells you when you're on holiday right. <laughs> and uh, you open these double doors and as you open them it's like somebody's just got you know like when you in the Willy Wonka chocolate factory yeah. and he opens the doors and it's this amazing and you go come with me and you kind of oh that's what you do if you're a jewelry lover because it's not one or two jewelers it's like 20 or 30 jewelers oh, in wow. one area so you open these doors and all of a sudden you've just got and you just can walk past and you're just looking at jewelry and it's like a jewelry fest in one but that's like blocks and blocks so these double doors you can just go in and there's like 20 or 30 jewelers in one area and then you open the next double doors and then there's another 20 or 30 people you can look at it's brilliant it's really exciting to see um, and because wow. obviously you've then seen lots of different ideas Lots of the jewellery is in sterling silver these days, though. Lots and lots of New York jewellers are working, especially with their diamonds. Mm. They're not even setting into into uh, gold. They're setting into silver. Do they have a dress code for people going in? No, nope, not at all. Because I was escorted out of the jewellery department of Harrods once because my T-shirt sleeves were too short. Mm. I know. <laughs> bizarre, absolutely bizarre. Humiliating, very embarrassing manhandled with my elbow <laughs> no because mm, my t-shirt sleeves were too short your sleeves were too short yeah it wasn't their dress code wow incredible oh my goodness me that's amazing mm. that's a really good story though isn't it that's a really good st <laughs> that's amazing you've done it mark's done his first challenge mark's his first challenge and, and and just to let Debbie Bulford know, he Good. has definitely risen to the challenge. Rosed, rised, risen. Risen. Is that the right word? Risen to the. He's rosed to the challenge. It's <laughs> 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 not quite right, is it? Um, um, ah, they're here. <laughs> Take a look. Uh, what will bring you? This. Uh, just a quick recap. For those who've just tuned in, because uh, we're down uh, on on stock on this one, it's we know it's going to sell out within the day because it's just one of our most popular aspects of jewelry making at the moment, especially going into the the glitzy glamour of, of festive season parties and things. We want to give you the chance to make really exciting, sparkly jewelry with these beautiful beads. You've got a variety of, of shades here. You've got your rose gold finish, your silver finish, your gold finish, and you've got your black. And I think if you mix them together, you're really going to get a lovely spectrum oh you tell you what would be good if you got the silver and black jump rings from yesterday if you got those and then wow. mixed in your silver and black of those beads if you mix those together now that would be good I tell you what to finish it off your mirrored uh, scale now your mirrored finished scale now just to add a little bit of a, of a jingle jangle almost like charm bracelet you feel <sighs> Oh, you've got some good jewellery going on at the moment. This wall of fame is just going to be brimming with fabulous jewellery, as it always is, to be honest. We're very lucky to have such amazing people who watch, who inspire us on a day-to-day -day basis. And you know what? I guess in some ways you inspire us and hopefully our, our ingredients and, and our offers inspire you. And this is one of those that will really make a difference. You've got lots and lots, over 300 of these beads. 
You could call them spacer beads, but actually there's so much more potential on these that it wouldn't be really fair to just block them into being just spacers. They're too good. They could be a feature that could be beady beads, lots of potential within this one tube, over 300. And um, Debbie made me a charm bracelet on Sunday uh, and she made a full 360 charm bracelet and it was brimming with these individual pieces she only used a third of the tube so just have a think about that kind of how far these beads are going to go yours for the taking for just £10.95 that's £10.95 a tremendous deal and so much glitz and glamour now these are very similar to the ones that we did the other day but there is a differential and I don't want you to think that you've already got these because these are brand new today what you have got here is instead of getting the um, the indent around the circumference instead you've got these lovely striking um, almost a vertical finish to to the the detail as well so they are different gorgeous ten pounds 95 congratulations oh eight hundred six triple four six double five ah oh. Oh, bless you, Dorothy. Thank you so much for that gorgeous... Dorothy's just saying how much she's enjoying the show. Um, and that's very, very kind of you, Dorothy. It's just lovely to have your company today. It really is. Uh, £10.95. Do you fancy texting in today? Come on, we want to hear from you. Uh, and, and we want to know um, if, we, if we're going for scarf lace. See, that, that reminds me of Robert De Niro and I The Godfather and... Scarf, scarf lace. Oh, does it? Oh, it's not mm. quite right then, is it? So it needs to be neckcloth. Neck cloth. Yeah, that's quite, yeah. Makes you smile, like you neck said. Neck Right, okay. It's going to go neck cloth. Neck On, ne Not neck off. Neck, <laughs> neck off. Really neck off. <laughs> <laughs> um, neck cloth. That's what we're going to call it because we don't yeah. want it to think about Scarface, no. apparently. I don't even know who that is, but he doesn't. Yeah, I don't like the family. No. Ten, is he not a nice man? He's not, well, I don't like him. £10.95. <laughs> <laughs> Thomas, he's not a nice man. <laughs> like he actually exists. He's not a nice no. man. <laughs> Do you think that's what they did in The Godfather? You're not a nice man. <laughs> oh, Lord, now that's not very nice, is it? Ten pounds, ninety-five. Is all you pay. Let's move on to the wall of fame before I start giggling. Uh, <laughs> Are you new to jewellery maker? Would you like to try a new hobby? Then why not give us a call on 0800 644 655 and we'll send you a free copy of our DVD and booklet to help you get started. You don't even need to make an order. Get involved with jewellery maker. We're just discussing how amazing Alison was with her first masterclass the other day uh, because we have instantly been inspired. Look at this, it's come straight onto the wire. Here's Anushka at 376 you are. And look at this, this is my first Wall of Fame. And what? First Wall of Fame entry? Wow. Um, I found Jewelry Maker at the NEC and bought lots of wire, purple bags of kits and bead scoops from you. I just sat and looked at them for a long time before making and finally I've got courage to send a make for the Wall of Fame. This is my version of Alison's Birdie from Sunday. She's a very talented teacher and I was shocked that he um, that this came out so well. Oh my goodness me. Uh, sorry my English isn't too good but it's my first language, but it's not my first language. Enjoying the demo and I'm loving work so I read that wrong didn't I um, enjoying the demos I am loving working with wire and gems the bird will live in the Christmas tree thank you jewel maker for your lovely demos I'm especially loving Rachel Gemma and Karen with the wire work Good luck to all the people who are entering for the wall. Um, that's Anushka. Anushka, congratulations and thank you so much for sharing. We were so excited on Sunday when we saw the beauty of Alison's as created, but also, uh, you're quite right, the teaching was so great. I mean, you said you were just- I was absolutely hooked, glued from the second it started right to the very end. It was, you know, she, she's an amazing, amazing, talented woman. Isn't she? Isn't amazing, she just? Uh, more of more of, of Alison, I think, as well. But isn't that a gorgeous, uh, you know, to take mm. Alison's inspiration 
inspiration and then just work with it. Uh, 376, congratulations, Nusha, and welcome to the Wall of Fame. Okay, next one I have this morning is number 374, and this is from Sheila from Redcar. And Red Sheila's car. Red, Red car. You say Red, Red car. car. I was born there. Oh, are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's not red car. It's red car. Well, it's red car to everybody. But if you're posh, it's red car. Okay. So you red stick car. with red car. Red car. Okay. <laughs> I've sent a picture of a lovely little set I made from jewellery maker Smoky Quartz Rounds with oh, some findings nice, from my it? stash. I purchased the Smoky Quartz as part of a kit and had laid them by. I wasn't sure what to do with them. I think they're so beautiful and decided to just use them with antiques bronze findings. Yeah, great. I love buying the kits as they are such great value and have built up quite a stash of stones and findings now. Keep the bargains coming and that's Love Sheila from Redka. 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 Yeah. In the north. You don't have to do a bend every time. Why do I do that? Redka. Red <laughs> <laughs> Where are you from? Redka. Oh, I'm genuflecting to you. That's what it is. <laughs> I've got Hannah uh, from Southampton. She says, please find attach my entry to the Wall of Fame. It's made with gold plated copper wire and beautiful tiger's eye I bought from JM. Thank you to all the designers for the inspiration they give and the presenters for putting a smile on our faces. Oh, bless you, Hannah. And thank you so much for spending the time to, you know, send in your entry and inspiring us with just some very simple and yet really effective classic jewellery and that tiger's eye beautiful <clears throat> really good this. choice 378 oh wow 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 what is it it's 375 i think it's beautiful is I it think so. yes exquisite 375 let's I need find to know out more. this is from paula from luton hi paula and paula says hi all at jewellery maker here is my wall of fame entry it's a long it chain mail chain necklace oh. two bracelets and two sets of earrings using six mil eight mil and ten mil dyed blue fasted quartz and all the jump rings were made ah. were made yeah using 1.25 millimeter and one millimeter silver plated copper wire I'm afraid the photo doesn't really do it justice as the silver white is really shiny and the quartz is such a lovely blue. You can see the blue, yeah. I have to say that Debbie Bolfer's chainmail DVDs are brilliant. Yeah. I can't do much jewellery making at the moment because I'm stuck at home recovering for an operation. Mm. Um, but after watching the DVDs, I found chainmail very easy to do without causing myself too much discomfort. Oh, it's not much fun being stuck at home, but the bonus is that I get to watch the show every day. It's great fun and keeps me smiling and has become the highlight of my day. Mm. So keep up the good work. Kind regards to all. And that's Paula in Luton. What a lovely, lovely, lovely message. That makes me want it, to smile yeah. about the just mm. um, and make me yes. feel very proud. Yes. Because yes. Uh, you, you know what? Um, oh. We have, we have, we've, we, mm. we were blessed to have a great job. We are. And actually, the job's really fun, but one of the nicest parts about it is, is that actually mm. it's not just fun for us, it's fun for everyone. And I know, like, kind of, you know, when Kaz first joined the team, which is, how long have you been with us, Kaz, now? About six months? Seven months. Seven months. And Kaz, you actually probably thought, what have I walked into? But actually, I don't know about Kaz, and I know for, you know, you walk in and you just go, mm. this is just, you just want to smile because it's a brilliant place to work. But also, it's lovely that we've got so many gorgeous friends as part of the fun. And, and, and you know, for the wall of fame it is a brilliant time for us to be able to celebrate your you know our friendship and and our, our getting together and having fun but also you know, having the same passion and, and you know learning things along the way and that's what it's uh, you know I'm you'll a, get us started in a minute yeah you will Michelle in Margate, uh, let's have a look. She says, hi all at Jewelry Maker. Here is this week's wall of fame. It's green, adventuring and white all from Jewelry Maker. Love watching the shows. The presenters make me giggle and the guest designers are an inspiration. Good luck to everyone for the draw, but secretly, hope it's me uh, <laughs> as I've just moved and I'm now skint. <laughs> 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 that's what I, that's exactly how I would say it as well uh, she's like Michelle in Margate you've been busy though Michelle considering you're moving when I was moving house I didn't have time to blink let alone anything else so you've been a very busy lady if you've been moving and create a gorgeous jury like that so uh, congratulations have been to Margate it's one place I haven't oh, been actually fantastic. Uh, one of my aunts used to have a and b in Cliftonville so we meant, spent many a summer in Margate they had ah. an amazing fairground called Dreamland which has um, just been given a, a grade listing. It's a listed building now, and they're going to renovate it. And um, oh, so how it's all exciting. It's all exciting. Let's all go to. Shall we have like Margate. a group trip yes. to, to Margate? Yeah. Let's go. Let's go and visit Michelle because she's got a new house. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she's got no place. So yeah. she's got. I'm sure she's we can got decorate space. it for her. Perfect. Gemstones. Paint, painting party. 
lovely. Um, we're coming to yours, Michelle's. Uh, Michelle's. <laughs> Michelle. We have lots and lots to look forward to. Shall we talk about Morganite? Yes, take a look at this. Mark has oh. officially fallen in love with this strand. From the second he walked into the studio, and it was on the stand from the moment, because obviously we had it yesterday, we showed you it yesterday. So um, from the moment that Mark walked into the studio, this was the piece that just had your focus. I honed in on it. Yeah, instantly. You were like some kind of stealth bomber. I was. I was. Um, that's what you like in sound terms. You have got <laughs> <laughs> faceted. <laughs> if you were a sound when you walked in, this would be it. Uh, <laughs> Let's quickly go to a break. I've no idea what I'm on. I need to have a banana. Uh, we've got plenty to look forward to. More goodnight coming up after the break and uh, lots of other treats. Don't go anywhere. The Jury Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jury designer. And each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their Jury Maker account and the runner-up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jurymaker.com or you can post your photos to Wall of Fame, The Genuine Gemstone Company, Unit 2D, Eagle Road, Moon's Moat, Redditch, B989HF. Here at Jury Maker, we have many stages of quality control, from lab tests all the way through to our own in-house gemologists. We're confident with our quality, but we want to give you that peace of mind by offering you a 30-day money-back guarantee. Here at the Genuine Gemstone Company, we are happy to announce that our studio store is now open. If you attend any of our courses, you can now browse through special items, get exclusive discounts and deals that you can't get at any other time. Become an exclusive customer at the studio store. For more information on available courses and dates, please contact our call center. The new studio store. The experience just got better. You can watch Jewelry Maker live every day from 9 till 1 on Sky 655, Virgin 756, Freesat 807 and now Freeview Channel 30. Once the gemstones leave the laboratory, is then down to the quality control process. This is a really stringent process which is completed by Rally and by Ithaca. Random strands are taken from each one of the lots and you get the average size, carat weight and length of each strand. And this is done so that you know the information that you see on your screens is correct. having a lovely day today. Um, hello, welcome to Jewelry Maker. Great to have your company. Uh, for those of you not tuned in, um, this is Jewelry Maker, where we just have lots of fun. Um, but we also are very serious about giving you great deals for your jewelry making. Uh, whether you're perhaps just getting started or maybe ready to adventure into brand new aspects of jewelry making, we're going to surprise and put, supply you with everything you could possibly want, including today. five meters of sterling silver chain yes five meters of sterling silver curb chain <sighs> we are thrilled to our toes at this deal you are gonna like it a lot you are gonna like it a lot, a lot. And we have been doing a lot of research. Kim and I sat this morning and then Paula, our boss, came in and she went, what are you up to? You two look like you're actually doing work. That was because we were trying to do some price researching on the cost of sterling silver chain in your high street jewelers. Just one chain, how much would it cost for an 18 inch chain? And we were there and we were just dumbfounded. It ranged from 20 pounds to 200 pounds for sterling silver chains, 18 inch, not five meters, just an 18 inch chain. 
one of them was 45 centimeters wasn't it so i will be exact one was 45 centimeters and that was uh that was 20 pounds but that's that's like that's half of a meter and we're giving you five meters the price has got to be related to what you're about to get here though i will highlight and i will highlight again if you're going to buy this you buy it today this is not going to be around tomorrow this will sell out in seconds the price alone in fact if you've got the chance and you have got the inclination and you've got the, the you know the web in front of you go to your um, to your search engines type in uh, maybe you've got high street jewelers that you have available to you know one of those well-known ones beginning with b beginning with f beginning with a um or what's the other ones um uh h you know on just type in you know type in any of those go to any of your high street jewelers and typing uh, just type into the, their search and they'll have a little search area say um just put sterling silver curb chain that's it you don't even need to have to define the size of it because you know that you're going to get more than what you're about to get in a single chain there but just type in and we can't find anything other than around about the the 20 pounds yeah the cheapest one we can find is around about 1999 uh, do your research and then tune in to find out the price of five meters of chain with us later on in the show now i'm thinking if you've got sterling silver chain don't you just do this simply work your sterling silver chain alongside your morganite faceted gems i mean whether you're going to go for a cascading pair of earrings with sterling silver chain or whether perhaps you're going to say charm bracelet of sterling silver or perhaps alternatively you're going to or once you've got something like this quality are you going to mix it with another feature gemstone and that feature gemstone tanzanite do you think that you then mix them together and create the ultimate combination ah oh, what do you think of that <sighs> you've got those perfect and they're like teardrops of tans like look at the color oh i tell you what we need to do can somebody just um pop into our um gems gallery and just say can we have the um the grading um yes the gemstones though we have grading we've got a little pot of grading gemstones so when we've got graded gemstones um of tanzanite we we normally use them as like color and um, comparisons to see the grading of them um that's got to be a graded gemstone simply has to be a graded gemstone uh, i'd be interested to know just how deep a grading i'm going to go to 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 probably heading towards your double to double a plus on that um give it a, an average okay um, right what else have we got should we go okay let's go here let's go here oh my goodness me we've got some you have been raiding the vaults today. <laughs> Kim says, look, she's already in bother for the, the, the pearls. Shh. <laughs> she literally has just said, shh. <laughs> now, obviously, the more I go, shh, it's the more likely that the bosses are going to go, what's she doing, shh, for? <laughs> shh. <laughs> you have got here. They are gorgeous. They are oh. beautiful. Now, this is a restricted stock bundle. This is a duo. You're not even going to get just a single strand. I mean, surely the price I'm about to do is worth, is worth just for this strand buying it. But how about this? We're matching not just these brand new features of your Smoky Quartz graduated faceted top, top drilled rice beads. Whew. That smoky quartz graduated faceted top drilled rice beads um, you're also going to get bicones and i have people on the lines for this you know your stuff you know these are the colors that you want to be working with and i mean let's just remind ourselves let's go back to your autumn panatoni colors and instantly carafe look at that 
that is your color of yes what it's called carafe brown you can see those colors and that is your smoky quartz for your panettone colors of the year could you imagine working those chocolates with the reds I mean, what a beautiful mix that would be for, for intensity, intensity and, and, and richness of colour. How about this? We give you the chance to own each one of these strands. It feels like this is a bit of a double troubler, really, isn't it? Especially when you consider what, what you should be paying for each one of these. When you consider that you should be paying closer to 20 pounds for this bundle, I actually think that that's pretty ridiculous just for that one strand. I'd have put that one strand at 15, 16, 17, 18 pounds on that. On, let's go out. If I'd have put this to air at 14.95, you probably wouldn't be that surprised, would you? If I put this quality, and please do investigate the richness of those gemstones, the way they, they have been exceptionally cut, faceted, that you have here absolutely exceptionally faceted that you've got there and each one of these two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen at least at least 17 gemstones on this one if i just put those as a pound a piece a pound a piece 17 pounds would be justifiable wouldn't it because if you went somewhere like you, you know your local jeweler's shop um, and you were buying a single pendant, just one smoky quartz pendant, you probably would be paying 30 or 40 pounds at least for just a single solitaire pendant. But if you make your own, all you need is the sterling silver chain. And of course, you're gonna get five meters of that later on. Sterling silver chain, one pendant, you're saving yourself an absolute fortune. How about this? One strand is not 14.95. Two strands, including your bicones, is not is not fourteen ninety five, and I don't mean we're going to take it higher. We're going to give you both strands for not fourteen, for not thirteen, but twelve pounds and ninety five pence. It is less than six pounds fifty, less than six fifty a strand of. Can I just reiterate that each one of those gemstones could be an individual pendant? Can I just highlight the fact that you could make a lot of feature jewellery just thanks to that one strand? And I mean, I could be raving about the bicorns because, you know, we all know that bicorns are one of our biggest shapes. In fact, that could have been one of our questions for our awards. What's your favourite mm. shape of gemstone? And the answer is probably going to be bicombs because there are so many of our our collectors who want these kind of shapes bicombs are hugely popular they really do add that luxury especially if you're doing things like beady beads working with them oh you know if you were doing something like um Oh, the bead loom. You know, if you were going to work with the bead loom and, and add a bit of detail, faceted bicones in a bead loom, I could imagine just gorgeous. It's £12.95. If you do want to join us, now is the time to do so. Faceted drops, and you've got there your bicones. That felt like a double trouble because that's how low it is. But actually, this next deal, where's it gone? <gasps> This is your double trouble. Uh-oh, double trouble. You are going to get a serious deal. That didn't work, did it? See, I always know when it works because Mark will either give me the Aragor oh, and he does this nose thing, just like that. <laughs> this nose thing? Yeah, you do. Just give me the no give me the look and do the no See? Mm. You do that. Do you know your ears and your nose don't, don't stop growing throughout your entire life? <gasps> mm. What? Does everything else stop and your nose and your, your ears? Your nose and your ears keep growing. No. Mm. Now, is it true? Is it true that the body can shrink? Yes. Because my nana shrunk. Yeah. My nana definitely shrunk. Mm. My nana, in the end, was like Miss Pepperpot. Like you put her, put her in a pocket. Mm. She was that. She just went from being probably the same height as me to then being, mm. like, you know, probably Kaz's height. You know, you just. <laughs> <laughs> just condensed. I don't think they shrink. <laughs> no, like I'd, I always think Kaz, I could just put her in my bag. I mean, I've got quite a big bag, to be honest. I've got a proper mummy bag where you can fit everything in. Kaz could actually go inside my bag. And I'd go, do you fancy that, Kaz? Yeah. Come up to mine. 
Yeah, I know. Lovely. You're my like mini Kaz. Uh, <laughs> take a look. What have we got here? Double trouble deal. Um, right then, you <laughs> um, two of your 90 carat Mukai top drill marquees shape. Now we talked about the marquee shape yesterday and how expensive it is for us to perform on any gemstone but of course when we start to talk about a gemstone from one location that becomes even more imperative to identify because when we're sourcing from one one location we're already talking about a very very sought after gemstone so you don't want to lose out on any of the rough you don't want to have any waste in the cut because it's a very very special stone in its own right so when we're doing multiples of marquees we really are going to town and we should actually be charging more money for any other for marquee shape than we do any other gem shape because it costs so much to lose the rough as you're cutting the stone because you have to slice obviously to the sides of each aspect to get that elongation of that top drilled marquees for but that's how it is we should be charging you more in fact what we're about to do is a double trouble deal and that double trouble deal that you have got here is as that you should be, in each one of those strands, be seven pounds and 95 pence. So that's one strand and it is seven pounds 95. How do you fancy getting both of these strands and still not even paying a tenner? Both strands for nine pounds 95. Let me just show you how beautifully these go if you got the pearls as well. If you got the pearls as well, what about going for those rich colors together? Ooh, that was a double trouble deal, wasn't it? Why not? And of course, if you like the idea of mixing and matching and bringing together your different looks, well, I have to just highlight that the next kit that we have for you is most certainly a complement of rich, earthy tones those really dramatic qualities you've got there a sense of of autumnal flavor in every part of this kit and that matches perfectly with, with the double trouble deal that is a double trouble deal it's not going to hang around because we've just given you essentially one full strand of mookite marquee's top drilled uh, design strand for two pounds we've just given you that chance for two pounds so you may as well make the most of that double strand double trouble offer congratulations mookite it's not going to hang around. And if you got that, then why not get this? There is a mass. A ma if I just, can I just move out the way? Let me just move my chair a second. Oh, I'd like to do that, but my head's stuck. No, my wire was stuck on the, on the chair. If I just did that, Look at this, I had a bit of whiplash, blame and acclaim, blame and acclaim, while I was at work and I had my wire stuck in <laughs> um, Just look at how, just as one shot goes when we talk about kits and obviously if you've watched us regularly then you'll know normally, you know, we have about this much stuff. I'd, this is a full screen worth of ingredients. Whoa! From the cord? to the gems, to the wire, to the threads. And actually, you haven't even got the findings included on that. You're getting all of this for one price tag. It's vast. It is seriously vast. It's what? And I'm just gonna tell you, I have no idea why I'm about to say this. I have no idea what I'm about to say in terms of why, 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 Kim? Kim has just said, and I've just said, this is the biggest, this is the most vast of kits. And she's just said, and it's the lowest priced. It's the lowest priced but we've got hods i mean literally hods of jury potential this is massive how can this be the cheapest kit when you're getting so much right 
You have got a lot going on here. Sunstone, carnelian, you've got your shell, you've got double strand of smoky quartz. That is really quite exceptional that I can tell you because I now know, you know, obviously the last kit that we did was uh, 21 95 The last kit was 21 That means this kit has got to go to less than 21 95 And knowing Kim, as we now do, you know, you, a, a, a nickname is Nora because actually she's batty about the prices. Um, with somebody like Kim, she doesn't mess around. If she says that this is the lowest kit price, then she doesn't mean buy a penny or even a pound. You know, Kim does not mess around. You probably know that. When Kim's in the hot seat, you know she's around because she just, she makes a difference on these prices. Um, how on earth are we about to give you double strand of smoky quartz, sunstone carnelian, and of course those shell, just to highlight the shell, it's actually two shapes in one. So you have your hexagons and you've got your coins together within that one design. So you could either use them as, as features like this, or you could use the hexagons like honeycomb design and then you can have the coins as separate. So you have, you know, or maybe you could replace the coins with maybe the sunstone. So you're mixing the gems like that. You've almost got two strands just because you've got two lots of gemstones in one strand there. So you've got your shell, you've got your smoky quartz, sunstone and carnelian, and there's more. And this is when it gets just bizarre. Good word there. And this is, that's, that's Kim's word, and she's the one who's making it bizarre. How about this? You have got for yourself your copper coloured wire. Um, I've already got people allocating this. I've already got people buying on the web. Your code for this kit is VUGC88 if you want it. You've got 10 metres of your fantastic 0.8 mil gauge wire. Anybody who wants to, to perhaps work with your wire to make your jump rings from yesterday, etc., that's the gauge wire that, that was advised. Then on top of that, you've got your hemp cord. Um, I mean, so much potential from jewellery just based on that one pack. Lots and lots of hemp cord. Adding in again, and we're adding in your orange wax. Now, almost a hundred of this kit is already allocated before we've even talked about the price. But that's because the web buyers are hot on this deal. Antique bronze findings, 98 of those that you're getting including a variety of different findings, including essentials like shepherd hooks and, um, and uh, luxury items like your extender chain, well, meter of extender chain capabilities. Then you've got your um, beading thread, your monofilament and your elastic matching in with the antique bronze uh, findings. So they are all in unison. This kit, I can't believe, is the lowest priced of the of the day. But that's what it is. It's yours for the taking. Four seasons jury kit should be a lot higher than you're about to pay. There's no doubt about it. How about this? We're bringing you wire, cord, hemp cord, five strands. Yes, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, because I'm taking that that smoky quartz as a double strand. So let's, let's, be, let's be conservative. Four strands plus your beading thread and all of your findings for one price tag. The last price we saw was $21.95, and we all know Kim's not going to just take it to $20.95. Therefore, it's got to be $19.95. Kim, it can't be anything less than that. I really, really, really like working with Kim. When I say like, liked because i don't think she's doing herself any favors by doing prices like that i mean she's doing you a favor she's doing you a massive favor i mean you need to have a little fan book the nora batty fan club or something like that the kim batty fan club maybe we should start that up just based on those people who love your prices and if you don't then i'll tell you what you, the, the, you can't be anything other than loving this i can't think of anybody who would watch this for the first time for the nine gazillionth time if you've watched us on a day-to-day -day basis from the moment we started i can promise you you won't have seen many deals like this one and we are good at pricing i mean i would say we're second to none on prices but even us even we can't push the boundaries of price like this on a day-to-day -day basis that really is a sensational deal what are you reckoning well i'm, I'm thinking if you take those beads away 
that's 17.95. You bring the beads back in, <laughs> yes. free. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I get you. And you've got sunstone, smoky quartz, carnelian, <laughs> and shell, all for free. How crazy is that? <laughs> that, <laughs> that actually is. That's more than 17.95, in, in fact, isn't it? Is it? Hemp, the wire, the, the, th the findings, the threads, the cord. It's probably right on the, the, yeah. the Kim said leave it with her and she'll find yeah. out. Um, Gosh. <laughs> yeah, because the wire is, is not, the wire is 7.95, is it? Or 9.95, I can't Finding remember. The pack is 7 something, isn't it? 6.95? Yeah, and then you've and got... And beading and... Wow. That's good maths there, Marky Mark. What was just those? That's just more, for those? isn't it? I bet it is. <sighs> Is it more? 1995 for just the threading stuff and the findings. <laughs> yeah, I am going to say this. I am going to. Wow. Right, I am going to whisper this because I really don't want her to get into trouble. And she would. That's, that's not funny. Sunstone, carnelian, shell, and smoky quartz. All of that free. She's just double checked it. Can I listen? Listen wow. in my like. This is what you hear. This is what. Just ready. Listen to this sound. <laughs> Did you? Can you hear her laughing? Can you hear Kim laughing? All she's doing is just doing that, like kind of. I know I've done something with that price tag that perhaps I shouldn't have done. Perhaps wow, I shouldn't wow, have wow. done that. That's incredible. Gosh, I'm taken aback with that. I don't know why she's done it. I ain't got a clue. Oh, the earrings that I've got in, um, those are from this kit as well. So for those of you, um, you can see there and you go, ooh, they're nice. You've done that chin really long. Mm. And mm. actually, they feel really gorgeous when I'm wearing them. I quite like that they're catching my neck. Yeah. I quite like that like jingle jangle feel. And I'm not a jingly jangly kind of girl. But they're not heavy at all, are they? No, no, not no, no. Not the slightest. I hate the loppy lobe look. It just doesn't fit for me. They're actually long for Jenny. They are the longest earrings I've ever made. They make me want to have my neck a bit longer. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> That's as long as it goes. Have you got Quite a long elegant. neck? No, I haven't. No. Um, right. Lots. Well, I did lots of separating. Of loveliness. I yeah. did lots of separating. You know, Talk me I'm through. Not, Talk me not through. Well, I, I used the, the copper wire and all of the sunstone to make that one necklace. I just felt that the, the colours were just perfect for each other, absolutely perfect. And I love my gizmo and I don't get to use it very often. So um, any chance of getting wire in a kit, I do a bit of gizmo, I just adore it. And then I moved on to the smoky quartz. And what I did with a shell is, I haven't used the shell as it is on the strand, I've separated it all. Yeah. And so I've used the, the little um, buttons in the middle and, um, and then the hexagons are spaces in between. That's just beautiful. I like how it separates though, but the, because they're the matching colours, it feels like it's very uh, That's right. fusion. That's you know, right. it feels like it really Absolutely. mixes beautifully and this, without together. Without a doubt, is the richest, darkest smoky quartz I have ever seen. Mm. It's phenomenal. It almost Absolutely. has that that sense of um, like a Le Melon um, obsidian. Yes, no, you're right. Doesn't yes, it? It yes. has that that richness about it. Yes. Uh, much darker than perhaps the smoky quartz that we had in the, the elongated facets. Mm. But that's just you know that's mother nature. Probably it is every chance that it was sitting within um, a, a, a deeper heat. Oh, you know, I see, yeah, So the colour of it will often yes. be a bit related to the heat. Yeah. Um, and, and most gemstones, if they've got a deep colour, it's either that they've been sat alongside another element, which has helped to, to transform its colour, or alternatively, the heat has penetrated so hard. And many gemstones are heat treated in, in almost like replicating Mother Nature once they've been sourced. Um, for the likes of some, uh, some amethyst and citrine, etc., you'll often find that they are heat treated just to get you know a, a colour that, that people look for. It's not a bad thing, it's just a case of almost replicating what happened in, in, in Mother Nature, but this time, you know, we're giving it that so that to, you get the right colour. Lots of gemstones have it. In fact, probably, I'd say 80% wow. of the jewellery industry has some kind of heat treating or, or some kind of treatment to the gemstones. Um, mm. Carnelian as well. This is gorgeous. Look at this. You've gone for that graduated. See, these kits just must take you forever based on the fact that mm. you, you spend a lot of time doing things like that. Yeah, a lot of time. Well, I, think it, it, I think it justifies using the stones like that for what they are. It's just beautiful. I mean, if it, if it was glass or, 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 you know, or plastic, anything like that, I don't think you spend half the time making the jewellery as you would. Yeah, and because you want to get that look, don't yeah, you? No, I, I, was really I hold it out. That, That's probably that your help, yes. more helpful, isn't it? Mm, it's beautiful. 
It's like a sunset. Lovely. Isn't it? Sunrise and sunset mm. in one piece of jewellery. It's a beautiful strand. And did you use most of those? Oh, you literally used most of them, barring yep. the, um, the earrings. Well, I did the earrings first, so I separated five graduated colours and then I made the bracelet with what I had left. That was a really nice set, isn't oh, it? Oh, beautiful set. See, see, the thing is, this is jewellery that I would buy. This is jewellery that I would wear. Mm. And, uh, you know, uh, I think that that's really important to, to identify that, you know, it's really nice to get jewellery that is, is very kind of artistic mm. and really exciting to make but actually in some ways it's just as exciting to have jewelry that you you know mm. you know you're going to wear and, and yeah. enjoy and day-to-day jewelry as well mm. you know that impact gorgeous market with, the, um, with the orange cord it's, it's a fantastic thickness of cord actually i did a kimohimo braid so there's, there's no gemstones on it at all but i didn't have any bell caps to finish it off so i've gone back to that old staple which i which i think is fantastic of the button so you get your four cords, you double yeah. them over and make a knot, make the slip knot, then you do your kumahimo, and then you gather all the strands up at the end, do a big double knot, fray yeah. the edges, and um, so that there's no gemstones, you haven't used to, have to use any bell caps, any glue, and it's a really, really nice little, I mean the kids would love to do things like that, wouldn't they? Yeah, well? definitely, yeah, they definitely. Really so what are you going to show me? I thought, I'd, well, because I've got a bit of wire, I thought I'd do a demo of the little earrings here. That was a happy Good accident lad. as well. I was aiming for something else and that turned out. And I thought I actually quite like that. The pretty, so yeah, I like almost I'd... a twisted cage. Yes, absolutely. So what I've got, I've got a piece of wire about eight inches long. And first of all... Have you jump ringed in the middle of them? They were the caps used, the, the little bit, when I did made the gizmo coils. Yeah. Those are the little little circles that I cut off at the ends of the coils. Oh, so I don't throw nice anything away. But you could use the, the jump rings that you have in your kit. Yeah, that's lovely. I just well. saw the colour and yes. I was thinking, oh, is Picked that... it up really well. It's yeah, a really it well put together kit. It was yeah. beautiful. So first thing we're going to do is just make an ordinary eye pin loop at the bottom. Like so, just a straightforward loop. And then we thread on our beads, depending on which order you want them. I've gone dark to light. Oops, I'm going to lose <gasps> that. Ooh, got it. Well caught. Yes. So pop on. And the drill holes are big enough for the, the one the point eight mil gauge. Yep, absolutely fine. So thread all those on. I can't get for that price. No. <laughs> it's amazing. And obviously, when, when I've been making the kit, I've, as you said, I've got the little jump rings that I've made from the excess coils. Mm -hmm. And then what we do then is we go to the top. Now we leave a little gap, probably two or three millimeters, because you want to do a wrapped loop. Okay, so we pop in the pliers, the round those pliers, fold them fold it across, and just take it round once, that's it, just once. And then using your, your fingers, as you take the wire down one side of the, of the beads, Go round the loop we've made once, like so, and then we go up the reverse side, so we've got the front and we've got the back, round loop once, like so, and we just tidy that up a bit using our pliers, cut off the excess that we've got there, and then all I've done, this is really is you just twist, <laughs> and that's it, that's all I've done, so you get that sort <laughs> of helter-skelter corkscrew effect. And to make your shepherd's hook, That's because I used idea. all my, my earring findings, is you take a piece of wire, it doesn't matter what length, and about half a centimetre from the end, and just roll it round like so. So you've got a little, little loop at the bottom, at the top. And then you go back in, but near the base of your round nose pliers, opposite to the side. So you've gone round anti-clockwise, now you need to go round clockwise. So you fold it round until it touches the little loop that you've already made. Take your pliers out and you're left with that large shepherd's hook. So just cut it to the length you want, about a centimetre after the shepherd there. Flatten those pliers in and just give it a little tweak at the bottom. Turn it over. Open the door, north to south. We'll pop on our earring. Close up the door. South to north. South to north. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you've got your, your earring. I mean, how long did that take? Three minutes. I, I just like the way the um, where the I love the through. twisting. Yeah, that's a really, really good idea. Simple. And literally, that's you just add them straight, and then you just did Absolutely. that. Absolutely. Then, if you wanted to, you could add another bead from the bottom if you wanted an extra dangle. 
That is a great idea. Really yeah. great idea. Gorgeous, Marky Mark. Really Thank nice. Um, we've had uh, Tamsin just uh, sharing with us today, saying that uh, that uh, she's uh, she suffers uh, from from a disability, and um, at times, obviously, she needs to just sometimes do something creative. And she's found jewelry making, and she absolutely loves it. And it's rather nice that sometimes she can she can be part of, of this, and then just needs to chill out a bit, uh, and then come back and really enjoy oh. and come back to to jewelry making. And uh, you know, oh. she really enjoys it. So thank you so much for contacting us, Tamsin, and oh. wishing you all the best. And and mm. you know, if you've got a story and you want to just be part of our we love hearing from you we really do and it's part of part probably what makes us um yeah enjoy our job as much as we do oh, is as, obviously absolutely. as I say we, we, we're not just here in the studio by ourselves we know that we're all together aren't we um, and that's that's really exciting so thank you very much for everybody who's yeah. contacting us today we really do appreciate it if you want to text us you can do so at 60777 uh, normal net ch network charges do apply make sure you start your text with JM studio or alternatively of course can join us on our Facebook site so just uh, go to Facebook and Jerry Maker um, Oh, and Karen says apparently the housework's just going to have to wait because she's loving the show today. I think that happens a lot. Can I just say, my housework is just, it's there at the moment. Do you know when some days, like, you're on top of everything and then other times you've just got, my housework is there. It's right on the, oh, blah. Do you want me to come up for the weekend and do all your ironing? I can't even would, go would there. Would that help? Ironing's not even an issue because okay. the ironing is like a mountain. It's not even ironing, it is now its own mountain. I've got ironing, I've got bathrooms to clean, and then and, and I've got just things like, you know what annoyed me? And I will just share this. We bought, we bought a, sorry, I just had this moment. I had this Ricky Lake moment, I just have to tell you. Right? We bought this table stand, right? And it's a glass black table stand. Why did we do that? Because the moment oh, yeah. you just do that, mm. fingerprints, I've got a two-year-old and a five-year-old, fingerprints, fingers. and on top of that, just the dust. I mean, I can wash it one day and then it just got dust again. <sighs> just had to share that. Karen, just leave the housework because it can't be as bad as my house right now. <laughs> <laughs> If you want to think of it in that way, Karen, your house will be like pristine in comparison to mine. Um, right then, let's have a look. Uh, let's just remind you what we've had going on today so far in the show. We have had for you uh, this amazing bead box. We do believe this will be a sellout deal for today. We don't think this is going to be around any longer than today. So if you want it, oh, now's the time to get it. Your chips and nuggets bonanza bead box featuring citrine, Russian amazonite, aventurine, rose quartz, prenite and fluorite, of which you've got two strands. It's a double strander of your fluorite. These are big fluorite, 600 carats of fluorite, plus a double strander of your prenite as well. Adding in there the, the likes of beautiful rose quartz and and you see instantly, oh, and the citrine, got to get the citrine out. Have, oh, do you know what? I can't leave them all. I just need to get them all out now. And you've got the colours like that. You just need to see them all displayed side by side. Amazonite, prenite, citrine, aventurine, rose quartz, and your fluoride all together in this fantastic bargain bead box offer. Now, if this if this is something that you're interested in, you need to just remind yourself that we've also done you an early bird with all your satin cord. And if I just introduce those colours, you'll see how instantly they work together. That's gorgeous colouring. Isn't that beautiful? Look at this and just doing that. Can you see there? So if you're going to buy one, you may as well get the other. If you've got those, then you may as well buy the bead box. For me, these link in perfectly together. So let's give you the bead box price first of all, and then we'll give you the satin cord info. Here's your bead box. You're getting a majestic quantity and carat weight. Let me say 1,200, 1,400, 1,000, uh, 6, 8, 8, 3, 2,000, and yeah, 2,200 at least, if not 2,300 carats of genuine gemstones in this bead box. Well over 2,000 carats of gemstones, 2,240, Kim's done the working out for me, 2,000 carats of genuine gemstones with your bead box for just 60 
1695. You look at so much opportunity. And I mean, if we just break it down and, and just say, how much is each strand? You know you've got a great value for money offer there. Six strands, let alone the bead box, but just say the six strands for, and they're not really six strands because it's two double strands. So really it's eight strands for 16 pounds and 95 pence. Well, that's working out at two pound, two pound 10, two pound 15 for each one of those gemstones. What an opportunity, what a chance. Congratulations, that's your bead box, six feature strands. And of course, as I say, as I say the bead boxes are designed for purpose, which means they've got the compartments which are a closed top to bottom, so it means that you can store everything that you want and they're going to stay in, in the sections. Now you've got all of those colours, you've seen the pinks, the yellows, the greens, you've got that lovely spectrum, and now let's encompass those colours with this fantastic arrangement of your brand new, never been seen before, satin cord. This is a brand new deal for you. Your range of colours from your creams to your baby pinks, your gorgeous shades of soft pastel greens and sky blues going through to your lavenders and your lilacs and your blush pinks all in one collection. These are brand new today, multicoloured satin cord, 10 spools in total, 50 metres in total. One of the nicest things is, is that whether you're going to capture the likes of a springtime look um, or whether you're perhaps going for going like so just like that you know you have got something very special beautiful qualities really exciting luxury opportunities cost morganite and tanzanite still to come but all of these are yours for the taking 50 meters that means each one of those colors is five meters each um, and yours for the taking for just eight pounds 95 all 50 meters for eight pounds 95 and really i think you know if you perhaps got something like the sky blues uh sky blue topaz and the aquamarine that we did yesterday well the blues are there if you've got some of the amethyst and the lavender tones that you've got those colors coming there if you've got the peach pearls i mean just to highlight again if you've got those gorgeous peach pearls just see how our colors match to perfection the color range of the gemstones that we have I mean, that's what we've got to remind ourselves. Those colours are just made to be together. Look at that. I mean, that is just a, a match made in heaven, isn't it? It's just like that. It's great quality jewellery. That's what we want you to achieve. And that's definitely what you've get, you're going to get from this kind of offer. 50 metres for 8.95, And it's time for the Wall of Fame. <laughs> Well, we've got some really gorgeous feminine jewellery, which we had yesterday. Yesterday was literally a whole wall of, of feminine jewellery. Uh, and I think rose quartz, which we've seen, is, is a real asset to, to many a gem maker. How about this one? Uh, we've got the lovely Ida in Enfield. She says, my entry for this week's Wall of Fame is a beautiful rose quartz necklace and earring set. I love the big stone on the tassel. Hope you like it too. All the stones are from Jewellery Maker, and I love the show, so I really hope I can win so I can get some more beautiful gemstones. Bless you, Ida, and a gorgeous... I mean, a really easy wear, but very, very breathtaking piece of jewellery. And yours, uh, your number is 380. Okay, next one I have is number 382. And this is from Helen in Ammonford. And Helen says, Hi, Lord JM. Please find attached this week's entry for the Wall of Fame, a swirly wire necklace inspired by the fab Gemma Crow. I have used amethyst and lapidolite from Jewelry Maker, and I get compliments every time I wear it. Hmm. And I think it's my favorite ever piece of jewelry. Ah. And that's from Helen. And Helen is number 382. Beautiful. Uh, this is really, and again, it's that impact, <sighs> yes. isn't it? And it's nice to get those compliments. It must be fabulous. Um, 379 is Nicola from Workington in Cumbria. She says, uh, my entry for this week's Wall of Fame. I recently bought Rachel Norris's DVD and have been frantically wire working ever since. This is my first attempt at the bee made with silver copper wire and gold obsidian. Um, and I have placed it on a Viking knit weave necklace. All products from yourselves, of course. Good luck, everyone, for the draw. And here's hope for a win well congratulations Nicola that's a gorgeous piece of jewelry I mean 
amazing quality exquisite quality jewelry and i love the viking knit it's such a it's such a rounded finish mm. isn't it a real professional finish 379 Beautiful. really oh, matches i well. love the way this has been photographed it's stunning mm. 383 it's always very artistic beautiful, aren't they? Isn't it? Yeah. and this is from joanne and joanne says hi all please find attached to my entry for the wall of fame the photo is by my daughter who is studying photography. Ah, uh -huh. there you go. The earrings are <laughs> abalonian hematite hearts from jewellery maker, all done in a macrame style drop from the beading thread. And it's kind regards, and that's from Joanne, number 383. It's always worth her going here for photography if anybody's interested. Yes. <laughs> um, uh, we have got um, Pauline in Standish saying, Hi, all at Jury Maker, what a show, full of joy and inspiration. I love all the presenters and special guests who share their skills and knowledge with great enthusiasm. Hope you, hope you like my angels, made from gemstones from yourselves. Would love it if you sourced and stocked the wings, then I can do a one stop shop. Uh, all the angels help support the emotions and the rest of physical body example confidence good luck friendship arthritis and love made in various sizes like phone charms key rings bookmarks and pendants hope they're shown on the wall of fame well they certainly are and she's sending love and light uh, bless you Pauline uh, in Standish beautiful I actually have a, a little charm on um, on one of my uh, dresses um, and I leave it there because whenever I wear the dress uh, it's just you know something that you just mm. always know is there and it's I, I love it uh, it's actually a skirt not a dress and um just reminds me of those so they're beautiful congratulations to you. a lovely arrangement of gemstones as well so uh, fab 381 oh. we have a very very exciting show on saturday i can't wait to tune in i'll be watching and i'll be celebrating with you when you find we're going mega clearance some big clearance deals taking place on Saturday. Half an hour of the show is given to mega deals. Half an hour where you will sit there with your jaw on the floor. It is going to be ridiculous. I will be watching. I know you're going to be watching. Find out why. You can now keep in touch by liking Jewelry Maker UK on Facebook. Get interactive with Jewelry Maker. The Jewelry Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewelry designer. And each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their Jewelry Maker account, and the runner up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewelrymaker.com. Or you can post your photos to Wall of Fame. Genuine Gemstone Company, Unit 2D, Eagle Road, Moon's Moat, Redditch, B989HF. You can now watch clips from Jewelry Maker on our YouTube channel. Get interactive with Jewelry Maker. Buying jewellery online from us has just become even easier with our new streamlined checkout service. We've made some little changes to make our website more accessible for all of the different ways you shop online, and now it's even easier using a mobile phone or tablet. Once you have added your items to your shopping basket, you can decide to check out now or save for later. Saving an item for later means you can easily find them in your own time, but don't forget to check back soon as all our items are selling fast. One of just a few changes that will make buying jewellery from us even easier. You can now keep in touch by following Jewellery Maker on Twitter. Get interactive with Jewellery Maker. We're going to give you a bit of a countdown right now, but welcome back to Jury Maker. For those of you just tuned in, I'm Vicky, but we're just going to go straight into a countdown situation. We are going to give you about a minute and a half 
to prepare yourself for this deal. We're not going to put graphics in. We're not going to give anybody the chance to buy this straight away. We are going to launch this in about a minute and a half, two minutes time. Once the graphics are in, we believe that this will probably be one of the fastest selling items of the month. In fact, probably of the year, to be honest, because five meters of sterling silver chain does not come along very often even on a channel like ours and when we do it we do it properly and i'm about to tell you that based on research that i have done there is no way it makes sense for us to do this price tag and i'll i'll say it and i'll say it and i'll say it until i'm blue in the face if you do just your research on one chain necklace that you can buy in your high street whether you go to the likes of of the jewelers that begins with HS, whether you're going to go to jewelers begin with a B, whether you're going to go to uh, TH jewelers. I mean, the big stores in, 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 in the high street, your jewel stores, if you go to any of those, uh, the, the big store beginning with A, just the A, do you know that one where it's like with a catalog that tells everything? Right, that one, go to any of those jewelers and try and find one sterling silver necklace that doesn't say 1995 it's it's just it's almost impossible we've gone through we've just gone and we've gone we've literally got picked up catalogs we've flicked through things we've gone on the internet and quite simply sterling silver chains they're a considered purchase they really are and rightly so sterling silver is a precious metal it deserves to have a certain price tag that reflects its rarity and how difficult it is to get hold of so in many ways it makes absolute sense for this to be a considered purchase however if you start to do a little bit of research on the actual price of this this chain in comparison to buying one chain in your high street store you'll understand just how low we're about to go you are about to get five meters of sterling silver curb chain this is not silver plated this is 925 sterling silver curb chain so if you went on to one of your high street jeweler shops and you typed in 18 inch curb chain or perhaps you come up with 45 centimeters, normally 18 inches, they normally say about 45 centimeter chain. If you did that, we came up with the prices that went between, let me make sure I give the exact, because I don't want to go, 20 pounds, 1999. And the highest then that, that Kim found is 195 pounds. Now obviously it's a different gauge, some of them are thicker, some of them are thinner, but actually in principle, we couldn't find anything other than 1995 for an 18 inch curb chain from your high street jewelers. Right. That was just our research. You've got the chance to do your own research. And even if you find anything cheaper, I don't believe that you'll get anything like what we're about to do, because this is five meters. It's not an 18 inch chain. It's not buying a single chain. This is actually buying five meters, which is effectively buying 10 at least 10 of those chains for one price tag because this is five meters of chain in one full length five meters that's not you know five one meters that is one full length five meter chain the graphics are about to come in in about 10 seconds time as soon as the graphics are in it's going to be the fastest to buy this first come first served if you see it now now is your time to go if you want to buy this your code is dnqz64 once you've made your decision you want five meters of sterling silver curb chain you've got to be quick to confirm on this fastest finger first it's a go 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 there are cues on the lines i've already got 30 allocated in about three seconds 50 allocated just like that first come first served and the price tag is so substantially low that you will not regret buying in bulk on this one. Five meters of sterling silver chain for 34 pounds and nine, I've got goosebumps. I literally said the price and I've got goosebumps. It's gonna go on, it's gonna be gone. 34 pounds and 95 pence. I have literally got goosebumps. I'm so thrilled for you. An amazing deal, Stanley Silver. I've got 20 left and it's gonna be gone. Congratulations, yours for the take and stay on the lines. And it's gone, 34.95, it's allocated. That's the way to do it. And that's what I mean by come to wear and you know what you want and you know we'll bring it to you for the best of pricing. And I said, that's probably the fastest sale of any item in sterling silver that we've ever had, uh, probably this year.
probably even ever <laughs> uh, congratulations huge congratulations i really have got goosebumps for you so thrilled for you seconds and it's gone and i will just say for those of you going but i didn't get it can i say we really did have a very big quantity for sterling silver but obviously with prices like that it's just not going to hang around massive congratulations to you first come first served i gave you the countdown um okay <sighs> If you've got your sterling silver, if you've got your sterling silver chain, this has got to be, it's an essential, it's imperative to me for you to now get this Morganite. Because for me, if you've got sterling silver, you command and you demand the finest of gemstones to go with. And that is when this strand comes in, unadulterated, extraordinary exciting opportunity morganite now even if you just want to base this on the one location this gemstone was first found in which of course we're going back all the way to tiffany's um, this gemstone was first of all named by tiffany's this gemstone was an exclusive stone to the top shop windows of tiffany's and it was found by the chief journalist of tiffany's therefore when you're working with this gemstone it's fair to say most gemologists most gem lovers and most connoisseurs call this the tiffany gemstone so if you're working with the tiffany gemstone you're working with one of the most extraordinary gemstones steeped in top designer history within the jewelry industry you say the word tiffany's to anybody and most people will say top quality jewelry and that's where i think this gemstone really did start to seal the luxury brand that tiffany's is my thinking on this, and I'm only being basing this on history of the stone, is, is, is that when you consider that Tiffany's was already an exceptional brand, but when they started to get exclusive gemstones like Kunzite and Morganite within their, within their exclusive collection, it really gave them kudos. It literally elevated to them to the status that they're in now. And I don't think, I don't think that that standard has ever dropped. For me, the luxury of Morganite is just that. It is the luxury of this gemstone that is related to probably one of the finest jewelry brands in the world. Its history is steeped in that tradition and that's what you've got with this. So when you're designing and when you're creating your jewelry with Morganite, remind yourself that the first time this gemstone was ever found and ever owned, it was found in the shop windows of one of the world's most world renowned gemstone collections and that's tiffany's how exciting you have got here faceted drops seven by five 13 by nine millimeter range in an 18 centimeter strand 60 carats in total now then let's just work this out if you've got 60 carats in total and two four six eight ten twelve 14 gemstones here 14 into 60 carats is working out at around about 13 carats is that right 14 no that's not right into 60 carats eight isn't it four eight okay i was halving it again that means you're getting in each gemstone four carats four carats in each gemstone on average now that isn't on average you know some are, some are larger because they are graduated sizes but if we said on average i'm offering you a four carat morganite last night on the sister channel of the lounge that i worked on last night i was offering a one to two carat morganite stone for around about a hundred pounds you're lucky I was sitting in silver, so I might have been able to take it to around about 70 to 80 pounds. And that was for one, two to three carat gemstone. You have 14 potential centerpieces like that. A real feature to your gem collection and your jewelry making potential. 
very very exciting offer that we have for you 60 carats and when you consider the price of single stones I mean I can tell you I bought a pair of drop design morganite earrings and all they are is just two drops of morganite and I bought them and it was staff cost you know I'll tell you absolutely staff cost they were in they were in gold um, they're in gold um, and I paid staff cost remember and I've worked here for a long time so I get some great discounts and I had to pay over a hundred pounds for just drop morganite earrings over a hundred pounds for my morganite earrings and you're getting much bigger gemstones much bigger gemstones and I'm about to take this price tag to pretty much a fifth of the price I paid for my earrings. My earrings are just two a pair of ear, that's it. And you've got a full strand, 14, that's 14 feature faceted drops, 21 pounds and 95 pence. And I mean, I've got to turn to Mark who is genuinely infatuated by this gemstone. I've got to turn to you, Mark, and just get your, your, your input in a creative way. Because obviously I'm talking from a gem lover's perspective because uh, that's where my, my heritage is. That's mm. where that my training is. And obviously um, that's where I, in some ways I get so passionate about jewelry making because for me, how exciting to work with genuine gemstones of this grade. And, and create your own designs. You know, what, what, where do you go with on a piece like this in designer terms? Oh, for me, straight away, it, it would be it would be definitely earrings. <laughs> I knew you were going to say Coil, that. Coiled wrap loops, maybe with a little flourish of wire. I mean, rose gold wire with morganite. I mean, how exceptional would that look? Absolutely. Especially if we then beautiful. got the, the chain well, as yes, well. You know, that absolutely. sterling silver chain. I know it's it's definitely working its way up to number one. I just absolutely love it, and then the history behind it. And um, I mean, it was it was named after Morgan. The, JP Morgan, Morgan, wasn't it? That's who right. funded the dig. So That's I mean, it. it's it's just beautiful. And as you said, the Tiffany gemstone. Marilyn Monroe had quite a selection of it as well. Well, the interesting thing mm. is, is, is that when you do start to investigate the history of many pieces, it's yeah. really exciting. Oh, I adore it. Um, to to explore it and then to be almost um, uh, inspired by that mm. because I think if you go if you say the Tiffany gemstone then I think most people would want to go for that that sophisticated yes, flair right. that elegance and that style you know there is there is that foundation of of historical reverence to this gemstone that then could hopefully be reflected in the jury that you're creating now I do have cues on the lines mm. for this piece and rightly so if you do want to join us it's yours for the taking it's Morganite and it's top regarded gemstone His historically revered and pre present time you just don't get much better than this for, for jewelry makers the world over this is a very exciting stone to work with you've got a full feature 14 gems I said didn't I 14 feature gemstones in this strand works out at around about one pound 56 each what I love about this particular cut is the gap between the hot the drill hole and the point at the stone, there's, there's, there's half a, it must be three or four millimetres, isn't there, between between the drill hole and the point at the top of the stone, that, yeah. which is a huge difference if you, if you are you know, using them as, as coil drops, anything like that, oh, so that's I really see. important. I have to say that is just so very, very special. I can't believe I'm saying £1.56. No. That means I could have made <laughs> my own morganite earrings mm. for less than a tenner. I could have made my own Morganite earrings for less than ten pounds and sped it instead of spe I mean I spent over a hundred pounds and it was a one-off. You know I, d I don't have that kind of money to just splurge on on one piece of jewellery. Not very often. I'm sure you you know children for goodness sakes they just take your money. Um, but actually I bought them for for a, a cousin's wedding and it was a very special buy. My husband said just treat yourself and so we did. You know I just treat myself to these Morganite earrings. Now I'm going. Oh, what have I done? Oh no I can't believe I could have bought made them myself for a tenner and in fact I paid over 121.95 my goodness me what an opportunity congratulations to you fabulous fabulous offer now then um I think I guess we're sticking in the same uh, luxury vein uh within this next piece um a gemstone that again has its history with Tiffany's another gemstone another gemstone that most certainly has prestige written all the way through it. Now, I have got to just tell you, when I'm looking at a strand like this, the colour is, is exceptional. The colour of this is, it's so exciting. The depth 
of colour. The depth of colour that you have here from the shades of your blues, your violets, you even have flashes of pinks here that we have got for you and you can really see the, 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 vivid, the vividness and the intensity of colour. Now, um, in, the, in the, the Tanzanite world, because it's only coming from one location, um, we have to identify it in, in very specific ways. Um, because often is the case, if you're sourcing gemstones from different locations, they have different features, different assets, different aspects. Say, for example, emerald, you buy it from M Zambia, you'll get that vivid color. You buy it from Colombia, you get the richest color. If you buy it from Brazil, you get this dramatic color. Each location will give you a definition. Now, obviously, with Tanzanite, it only comes from one place and one mining region, and you have to really, really appreciate that that mining region is tiny, tiny proportion of, of what is normally a huge mining area um, is coming with these gemstones. Now, therefore, when we look at the colors of the stone, we have to grade them in their saturated color. It's one of the most difficult things to do because when it's a pleochroic gemstone, that means from different angles, you see different colors from the gem. So as it moves, all of a sudden you'll see this really rich, vivid, um, lavender-like uh, shade of violet. And then from another angle, you'll see a really intense cornflower blue. And then all of a sudden this flash of pink will come through. That's the pleochroism, or sometimes known as trichroic. Three different colors from different angles will be exposed from this gemstone that's why people love it because it doesn't just offer you one layer it brings you the beauty of different shades of color and different totally unique colors from each one now I just want to take pieces like this one okay just like this one and just highlight the saturation of the color grading in color as you can see here a double a triple a quadruple a now quadruple a tanzanite um, is probably one of the rarest gemstones in the world right now um, we used to be able to get a, a fairly decent proportion a fairly different proportion of of um of quadruple a however the lower we go into the ground and the further we have to sit and we're now i think it's something like 800 meters into the earth's crust eight hundred meters into the earth's crust and the facts are is as, as the lower we get the less the quadruple a is coming out but also the saturated colors like this one are just not coming readily at all and i just want to show you how deep that color is can you see there and i want to show you another one so that you can see that i'm not just being selective of one piece i'll show you the different shades of color and i'll show you a different shades of color now what are you thinking? Double A? I'd instinctively say some of these pieces are higher than double A to my eye and that's that's just this strand that I've got of course not every strand I can give you that that seal because obviously that's not my job and also I can't look at how many strands we've got and go oh that's one's this and this and that but in principle on the strand I'm looking at I'm looking at that saturation and I'm giving it and I've worked with a gemstone for probably about eight or nine years now I'm saying at least double A and I think if I'm, I'm being conservative on that I am being conservative I've already got a hundred allocated you know your gemstones you know well enough as I do that this type of strand is not going to hang around in our vaults the color the quality and of course the shape those beautiful plain teardrop shapes are so very versatile yours for the taking for just Sixteen ninety-five. How have we done that offer for less? I mean, I can tell you how much I paid for my Tanzanite as well. That's the thing is, is that, I mean, I'm a collector of gemstones. I'm a collector of gemstones. And there's no way that I would ever expect to be able to give you gemstones of this grade, of this regard, for six in one, one of them, Oh, fair dues. I mean, you'd be doing well, but one of them for sixteen ninety-five. Well done. Blimey, sixteen ninety-five, and it's a full range of colours and a full range of sizes and a full range of beautiful collectible gemstones. The grading of stone is so exciting. Yours, and it's got to be taken while we have it like this. Has to be at sixteen pounds and ninety-five pence. Go, go, go! Oh, eight hundred six triple four six double five. 
what a cracker what an absolute cracker of a strand massive congratulations if you've got that a treat and a half huge congratulations right then straight on am i right saying did you tell me the box again uh, it is i just wanted to check before i picked up this mountain of gemstones now this has got to be the largest 10 strand strand pack that i've ever seen I don't even know whether I'll get them. It's not even a 10 strand pack because you've got double strands in this as well. Oh my goodness me. Uh, they're, they're all just. Um, is there anybody who can undo knots? Is there anybody who can undo knots? Do you know anybody? No. No, me neither. I think that's a shame that I can't think of anybody who can undo knots. This is ridiculous. Of these ten strands are double strands. Oh, that's gorgeous. Oh, look at that colour. That is gorgeous. That's beautiful. Now that is some seriously good looking amethyst. These are ten by six to thirteen by seven. Wow. That is seriously good looking amethyst. Okay, that's just one shot. Really highly polished. Really well polished. Gorgeous. Now then, if you buy this bundle, you are literally buying exclusivity because we have nothing else but this available bundle nothing else but this bundle in any of these strands so if you buy this bundle you are effectively getting everything that we have in each one of these strands we have nothing spare so if you're going to buy it you're buying the last of stock of every one of these strands can i just highlight this strand as part of the 10 strand bundle oh my goodness me just sick that one strand is 600 carats of smoky quartz that one strand is 600 carats of smoky quartz 16 by 15 to 21 by 20. now then let's just keep on going look at the size <laughs> look at the size oh my life 800 carats of pre night Oh, the quality of the amethyst. We've already talked about that amethyst. Double strands, it puts all the double strands together so you can see those. That includes opal, appetite, garnet, and amethyst. Let me just scoop those up so you can see them together. <sighs> amethyst, that's your pink amethyst, that's like the Rose de France like quality. Uh, double strand of, of opal, that's Mexican opal. Then you've got a double strand of appetite. Then you've got a double strand of garnet. What? Then let's keep on adding. And if we were adding any other strands, I think, oh, these were just going to be, you know, your mediocre strands. No, 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 no. In fact, the exact opposite you've got here the beautiful drops of your shell then you've got your golden rutilated medium nuggets check that out they are fab probably like spun gold inside and to finish it all off zircon what are we doing what is this bundle all about it's a mega deal it's an exclusive if you're gonna get it you should be paying well, I mean, if Kim, if that is the price tag, I'd have, I'd have said you should be paying over £100 on this. To my thinking, I would have happily said, make, make me guess, I'd have said on over £100 you should be paying. Actually, the price you should be paying on this is £60. I think that's a mega deal. That's a mega deal. Surely that's a, 10 strands. Your zircon, fire opal, Mexican opal, amethyst, garnet, massive 600 carats of smoky quartz.
I'm not even going to say the price tag. I refuse to say that price tag. I refuse to say it. I cannot even say that. I cannot say that. I can't say it. If you've got it. Hold the lines, but if you've, if you've got that, congratulations. I've only got two left, have I? Not for long. That's ridiculous. Okay. If you've just seen an amazing deal, £3.50 for each one of those strands, how about we bring you even more opportunity? Peacock pearls. Peacock pearls. Look at this. Peacock coloured cultured pearl, baroque shaped pearls. Oh my life. Just to say peacock pearls, I'll have people buying this kit because we are inundated by requests for pearls. The good news is, is, is that we're doing our very best to answer your needs, but peacock pearls they are the pinnacle even probably more say and more more requested um than than you just your classic creams peacock pearls you just cannot get enough of and here you've got that perfect timeless feel to your gemstone then on top of that we're matching those colors with your appetite it's your double strand of appetite 140 carats you've got another double strand and that's your green amethyst your praisia light don't see this very often or you certainly don't see it this clear have to just show you how clear it is love that double strand that's an exquisite quality it's almost a luminescent isn't it it almost has that effervescence of, of neon you know as the color moves through it has that you see even in the darkness you do have that that it does have that feel about it doesn't it gorgeous um faceted rounds faceted rounds finish it off and i tell you what we've had some cracking amethyst today and this is probably uh, <laughs> This is a perfect way to, to be the, the tip and the very top of quality of your amethyst. These are faceted rounds of your amethyst, eight millimeter faceted rounds of your amethyst. Whoa, that's a beautiful, okay, let's have a close over that one, Tom. What do you think of that, mate? Oh, we've got the, the Tom nod. Tom's giving us the nod, he's loving it. That is, that is what amethyst is about, isn't it? The warmth, the opulence, the richness. Can I tell you that this is a limited edition kit? I, I have, well, unfortunately, double figures left. Already, double figures only. Uh, amethyst faceted rounds. Then you've got your double strand of your praise your light. Then you've got your double strand of your appetite. Adding in your peacock pearls with such luxury gemstones and such incredible colour matching. How about we bring you sterling silver findings? Yes, please. Your heart shaped chain, sterling silver. Plus, you've also got the likes of your head pins and your eye pins. Um, and you've got your shepherd hooks, you've got your uh, crimp beads, your lobster claw, your toggle clasp, all of these features, beautiful. Um, and if that wasn't enough, you've then got your threads as well, your beading thread, your monofilament and your elastic. Your price tag, this is a limited edition kit. This is a low stock quantity, but with that in mind, it just means to say that you are gonna maximize on this luxury in every way, shape and form. Yours for the taking, limited edition, double figure quantity, and it's not gonna hang around for 24.95 the sterling silver i mean the sterling silver alone is 12.95 so for 12.95 i'm bringing you peacock pearls a double strand of appetite a double strand of your praise your life and that extraordinary quality of color from your amethyst i mean that really is as rich and as opulent 
uh, almost an emperor shade of, of purple. Um, and then if you go back to, to, to historical reverence of, of purple, uh, the reason that it's, it, it is referred to as an opulent uh, color is because um, it was such a rare color in the to dye a, a piece of material from that only emperors um, would would wear purple robes. So that's from from literally going back to Roman times um, and even Greek times. This coloring has always been referred to as a luxury item of, of coloring, and you can understand that richness is just exquisite. I'll quickly show you the jewelry that's been made. The gorgeous Sue has made this one of our amazing beading ladies. And as you can see, she's really captured the, the, the color collaboration of this kit. Instead of keeping them separate, she's really yielded the luxuries of color tones and they are coming to life. I've got some earrings in as well that I just, just had to wear, to be honest. And you can see they're just making the difference to those design. Sterling silver matching the praiseolite and the appetite with the amethyst it doesn't get much better than that now does it 24 pounds and 95 pence it's your low stock offer now it was a limited edition kit with your sterling silver and just to show i mean uh, sue's really maximized on the sterling silver chain can you see <laughs> We've just got a text in and what the text just gone. Oh my goodness, please stop doing amazing deals. <laughs> I am spending a fortune. I love it. Sorry about that. It has been a brilliant show, hasn't it? I know I've really enjoyed today's show. I've had lots of fun and, and, and lots of great deals along the way. But just to, you know, do a little extender chain. And that's maybe what a third of the length of the chain. Oh, I've done it again. I've got me I've got my wire stuck. I keep on getting my wire stuck. That's it. It just keeps getting stuck down. <laughs> um, now then, we have our lovely ladies who are joining yeah. us on our um, Get Started Into Silver Clay. Introduction to Silver Clay, yes. Yes, that's mm -hmm. it. Introduction, Get Started. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, tell me, ladies, how are you getting on? Wonderfully. It's yeah. very good fun and we're really learning a lot from Italia. What have we started with? How have, we, how have you got on? I'm going to stand in front of you. Sorry, lovely. We've made a charm oh. so far. Uh, we're about to fire it off and uh, see what it looks like. Oh, that's fabulous. Mm. And, and is it something that you've always wanted to explore? Sorry that I'm still in front of you. Yes, definitely. Yeah, it's really good. What's the, what's, what was the charm of, 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 of silver clay? What was it that made you wanted to work with it? Well, I think it's just having something a little bit more polished. You know, you do the beads, but this is just something different. It is something yeah. different, isn't it? And it's quite luxurious, really. Yes. I mean, I think the luxury of silver clay is, is quite exciting, really, to get started yes, with. Yes, it is. You know, it, it's fascinating to see it come from looking like nothing to looking like silver. And that's the thing is, is that I, what I like about it is, is that I'll come around here and because we go, I'll come around so I've got everybody. One of the interesting things about silver clay is that it starts off as almost like a, a putty or, you know, or, you know, and yeah. all of a sudden it becomes this extraordinary, like, and it's almost pure silver. And you put your own stamp of individuality on it as well, because yeah. it's all your idea. Yeah, and I think for, I know, I know the last time we you did a course, Natalia, you had uh, about people doing like imprints of mm -hmm. um, of fingerprints, and you know, as you say, give that individuality something that's mm -hmm. really precious, um, precious. and mm -hmm. give something unique, I guess, and to do mm -hmm. charms and things, which yes. is what you, I would say. What are you doing later on? Let's find out, Natalia. Tell me, tell me, what what else are they doing? We're making pendants with bales, yes. and um, and then we have the free form session in the afternoon where they can make any design they want to. Oh, yeah. So you always freeform. make. Things that you want to make and that you can take home and be really proud of. And that's important because yeah. again, you can get lots of different things from, from courses which actually perhaps, but essentially not something that you'd ever use in your jewellery. So mm. that's really nice yeah. to think that what you're going away with, and when it is just like that pure metal, it's so exciting mm. that you really want to have it that's something that you'll treasure. Yeah, really you know. original. That's what I like. I like that. Original, <laughs> just like you. Um, we have um, lots and lots of courses uh, running. If you are interested in joining us on one of our courses, do speak uh, to our call centre and they'll put you through um, to, to uh, well, actually, we've, uh, we've now got Kirsty and we've also got... Wendy. Wendy. I knew I was, I was going to go, I'm going to get it wrong, I'm going to get it wrong. I was going to say Mandy. And I, no, 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 it's not Mandy, it's Wendy. <laughs> uh, we've got the lovely Mandy who will take your call and uh, tell you all about that. But we've got loads of workshops. Would you say come and do it? Oh, yes, definitely. Definitely. It's fun. I've been looking forward to it for ages. Oh, that's And I've brilliant. come a long way. 
Oh, where have you come from? Cornwall. Yes. Oh, you have? No, not tonight. Not today, though. Last night. Oh, <laughs> oh well, lovely to have your company. Very nice. Quite Thank pleasure. you for taking the time. Um, we have lots of courses. So, as I say, whether you want to get involved with some like silver art, clay with the gorgeous Natalia, or whether perhaps you want to explore a brand new technique like a macrame with Mark, uh, perhaps you want to explore the likes of Kumihimo or beading basics or explore new avenues of design with Gemma Crow. We've got loads going on. Whatever your level, we've probably got some to inspire you so come and join us uh, and it'll be lovely to have your company um mark when when's, when's your next macrame a week monday oh great yes, week is monday. it full it's two places left right so the space yes. is left if you fancy joining something like macrame and you want to learn lots of different te techniques you can do that a uh, week on monday i'm sure we'd love to have your company there and you get free food mm. <laughs> and the food's very good apparently you're not allowed to eat the food Oh, because you're going out for food tonight. What does that mean you can't eat today? Because Claire, Claire says she's going to have the biggest steak ever. <laughs> and she can't wait. <laughs> right then, where should we go? Okay. go. Hi, hi. Ooh. Ah. Oh, this is going to brighten up any day. Oh, wow. Oh, that really is just funky jewellery really funky how about this it's your bright bouquet oh i thought i thought it could be called brighten up your day because that's what it's going to do isn't it brighten up your day with colors and gorgeous shell pearl um and here you have a combination of your larger ovals and these are your um, three, th pardon me, 35 by 25 millimeter size. Then you've also got your green shell drops. Those are 14 by 11. Then you've got your fuchsia shell wheels. Those are six by one to six by six. And to finish it all off, your baby pinks with your frosted shell pearl and they are 10 millimeter. All four strands for one price tag. And that price tag is just Less than £2.50. E, I wish I was getting math. I would wish that my maths was getting better. And I went to my daughter's, I went to my daughter's um, school the other day to do a math session with the, with the class. I panicked. I literally, I sat there and I'm watching my five-year-old daughter and I'm thinking to myself, I need to really get my head around maths again. I really need to book up my ideas because I don't want her to ever come to me and go, mommy, how do I do? And me not have the answer. You know, my husband is, my husband is a maths, like, clever one. I mean, he's going to be brilliant with them. But my husband obviously works away. So if they're struggling with maths, like, I need to be able to answer. I just can't do maths. I just, it just doesn't sit in my head. English, I'm there, I get it. Maths, oh. And so that panics me. I think she's only five and I, you know, she's already doing things that make me go, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but even that, I look at that, £2.50, less than two, took me a while to get there, but less than £2.50 a strand. Ridiculously exciting colours, loads of bursting energy uh, and vibrancy. Lots and lots of uh, limited stock now. I think people are really looking for the bright colour, bright colours. Beautiful look. Congratulations, you got that one. 9 95 is all you pay. Gorgeous, gorgeous colours. Popping, popping colours there, popping. Now then, um, we're on last of stock on the Morganite. I just want to highlight we had loads of people holding on the lines um, and, and I don't know whether it's a case of you just, you know, you've waited on the lines and, and you thought you haven't got it, but it is now a limited stock offer. If you would like to join us, your 60 carats of Morganite, this is the day to, to grab the, the offers of this exquisite strand beautiful range of sizes qualities femininity and luxury that's what it is getting luxury jewelry how much would you pay for a morganite pair of earrings well i paid over a hundred pounds and that was staff costing so what would you pay for a pair of morganite earrings that you've made yourself well how about this each one of those morganites is one pound 56 so you're gonna have to if you're gonna do a pair of drop of morganite earrings what three pound well just to three pound 12 pence there's some good maths, I did it. Three pounds, 12 pence for just the Morganites when I paid over a hundred pounds for my Morganite earrings. So that just gives you an idea of great pricing. Your price offer, 
Morganite for just £21.95. I mean, really, in all honesty, these are the kind of prices that you just got to maximise on while we have them available in our stock list because they don't hang around. They're not an everyday gemstone and we certainly don't have mass offers for you to be able to have this. £21.95 is all you're going to pay. An absolute treat and a half. absolutely gorgeous okay moving on and we are moving on to a fantastic challenge mark you've got the uh, a fantastic arrangement of gemstones you've got your blacks your golds your silvers and your rose gold um, beautiful engraved detailing you see that that that, that stardust effect Literally, literally glistening away effect but then instead uh, we did some lovely spacer beads earlier on this week which were um the circumference was engraved but this time you've got it coming vertically down over so it's just a different effect but actually if you've got those ones that go around how nice to mix them up and get a totally different result to your jewelry why not just get something different and i don't think these are spacer beads i don't think they are because i think they're just too nice i just think that they're they're, they're there's too much detail to think that they're just going to be a space of bead they're going to be so much more than that they're going to be a real asset to your jewelry making you've got your rose gold your silver finish your um, yellow gold finish and on top of it your black as well uh, all in your brass beads and over 300 in this tube for one price tag and that price tag £10.95. That's £10.95. When you consider how far your jewelry is going to go, I mean, these really could be spacer beads forever. You know, you'll have them in your stash and you could, you'll be able to use them on multiples and multiples and multiples of, of pieces of jewelry. Or alternatively, you're actually going to use these and make one piece of jewelry. You may have heard me say earlier on that Debbie made me a gorgeous charm bracelet uh, with, with a very similar tube to this earlier on this week. And she did a full tube. Uh, me a full bracelet and she only used a third of the tube so that just goes to show how many pieces you can actually achieve if you're just going to use these as singular ingredients um, gorgeous glamorous uh, opportunity so that's uh, that's your, your tube and we will see Mark's creations and you are going to be really excited by Mark's creations I think they are exquisite tonight today i mean beautiful take a look at your satin cord and just have a look at this fantastic treat your perfect pastels giving you a sumptuous mix of colors baby pinks and lavenders you've got your sky blues you've got your creams you've got your peach blossoms a lovely tonal quality that you have from every one of these and they will work so nicely together you know if you were going to do some nice kumahimo and if you're just going to use these colors imagine mixing up those colors to really get something different um, a, a gorgeous opportunity there 50 meters in total that's five meters per uh, per spool so five meters in each color that's 50 meters in total one price tag only and that price tag is eight pounds and 95 pence for all 50 meters eight pounds and 95 pence what a deal that's turned out to be a real potential mark saying that you look you can do macrame bracelets probably made from maybe three three to four macrame bracelets from just one spool so if that's the case you've got the chance to make 30 to 40 bracelets let alone adding gemstones just make the 30 to 40 bracelets in your, your macrame style for eight pounds 95 I mean, that's going to make out each bracelet. Can you do the maths for me? If you've got 30 bracelets and it's £8.95, what's 30 into £8.95? Got to be about 30 p, something like that, less than 30 pence. Just 29 pence. Right, 29 pence to make a macrame bracelet. Mm. 29 pence. So even if you charge somebody a pound, you're actually got a markup of three quarters of the price. So you're actually making a markup of 75% if you're making, if you, even if you sell them for a pound. So if, 70%. Crazy, crazy, If you sell crazy, them for a pound. Crazy. Would you sell them for a pound? No. I'm just thinking, you know, amazing um, presents for children. We've got another half term in between now and Christmas. 
and they could be making all their school friends free sh friendship bracelets, incorporating mummies and daddies beads, all for school presents when they go back for oh, Christmas. Oh, how lovely for Christmas. Yeah. Uh, I mean, fant fantastic, isn't it? I quite like the idea of it. I, I said mm. to Georgie that perhaps we might make um, the, the teachers um, little well, Christmas decorations. Yeah, absolutely. You know, rather than, you know, just buy a gift, just make a little yeah. Christmas decoration uh, for their tree or something like that. Well, I'd love that. Um, I'd love that. And I, you know, obviously... Uh, I've only made two. Can I just say, that's gorgeous. I, I know you've done funky, and it is really funky. <laughs> now, Debbie, you set the challenge. Our lovely Debbie Bulford yesterday, um, our guest designer yesterday, joined us, and she said she wanted a, a Mark to create this lovely spiky impact. Mm. And he's really, that's brilliant. Yeah. I love that open uh, design. How have you done that? Just alternating square knot macrame stitch. How? Oh, you've done, you've split it in oh, Yeah, so um, it was four working strands, and then you, you do a few stitches, and then you split them into sets of two. There's beading thread running through as well to take the beads. Right. And, um, and then you, you split them, do a few more stitches, join them back up again, and then split them. It's quite a, quite a really nice technique. Debbie, he has definitely risen to your challenge. <laughs> you threw down the gauntlet, uh, the gauntlet, and he has responded with, a, with great, mm. great passion. I'm impressed. Now... This next bracelet, I think, is one of your nicest pieces. I love this. I think those two colours just work beautifully together. Kim says, can she steal it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mark goes, yeah, you can steal it. <gasps> Marky Mark. They, they're just beautiful colours, aren't they? I would never thought of rose gold and, and gunmetal grey, but they work beautifully together. I think that's one of your nicest pieces because I just think that's showing the potential of, of just bringing mm. a mass of so many gold. And look how many you've got left. left. I haven't used a single gold one yet. Look, there's all the gold, yeah. there's all the silver, then you've got you've got still a decent mm. maybe 20 or 30 yep. of, your, of your rose finish and then you've probably got another maybe 15 or so of the, mm. the, the black. I mean, so that's just going, that's probably, again, a, probably a third of the tube used to just yeah, create that, absolutely. Uh, that one bracelet. So it's going to go a long, long way, and that's one heck of a good-looking bracelet, isn't it? £8.95 for the spools of the pastel, but if you want that tube, it was ten ninety-five for the tube, and if you love the idea of making this, how did you do it? It's satin ring, which we've um, it which is literally mentioned just building earlier. Up, yeah, building so, up so, so it's, it's three lots of working strands. So it's a daisy running through the middle and then you use the, the outer um, threads to do the, like the satin ring. So it's like herringbone but in reverse. Gosh, the result's so mm. good, isn't it? So really good. Um, it's been great to have your company. We've got plenty more deals tonight on The Late Show. I've got to tell you, we have got some exclusive things that we couldn't fit in today. We've got tonight. So you will will definitely want to join me this evening. I'll promise you I'll make it worth your while if you tune in. Thank you for your company today. Always a pleasure. Thank, Thank you to you. yours always as well. I'll see you tonight at five o'clock. Bye-bye. Do you need a helping hand to get started with Jewelry Maker? Are you stuck for ideas and need inspiration? Then visit our Jewelry Maker website where you can find our video tutorials. Expand your knowledge and skills with these easy to follow jewelry making demonstrations. Whether you're a beginner, hobbyist or business owner, there's always something new to learn. It couldn't be easier. Simply click and learn some new jewelry making techniques. The Jewelry Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewelry designer. And each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their Jewelry Maker account, and the runner up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewelrymaker.com. Or you can post your photos to Wall of Fame, The Genuine Gemstone Company, Unit 2D, Eagle Road, Moon's Moat, Redditch, B989HF. We all know you need the right tools for the job, so here at Jewelry Maker, we have designed a kit to make sure you have all the essentials to join in with the fun. 
with round nose, flat nose and wire cutter pliers, as well as a reamer, tweezers and a bead scoop, you've got everything you need in one place for just 9.95. We provide the tools, you provide the skills.